Welcome to the Undisputed Podcast. I'm your host, Jenny Taft. This podcast is the full show from today's episode of Undisputed from start to finish. They've got a busy slate, so skip Shannon. Let's get to it. Welcome to Undisputed. We are live from Los Angeles. I'm Alex Curry here with Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Good morning, guys. How are we doing today? Uh, you got my new wallet. What ladies, the other? ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Shannon Sharp actually won two cases of Diet Mountain yeah. Dew for me last yeah. night because I made the mistake of betting on those choking dogs from Utah who were up 12 points with six and a half minutes left at the crib. Up 12 with six and a half and you can't close the deal? That's the first time you've ever swigged that in your life. Wait a minute. Is that diet? Yeah, that, 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 you was at it with the breakfast of the champion. Yeah, I, I already had mine this morning. Yeah, yeah. It's the nectar of the gods. You know, you might actually have a good show today after you took a swig of that. I know you feeling good. Y'all yeah. love like 14 with like three minutes to go into four quarter. You feeling good with No, it? it was 12 with six and a half. You feeling good? What, was I feeling good? Not with Utah. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's not what you said. You said they were six straight. Let yep. me not, skip, let me not the poison off the top yeah. of this. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. That's better than that. Will you, will you, will you, why you been holding on there for all these uh, years? You ain't tell me about that. I, <laughs> why do you think I've been flying out of my seat every yeah. day? You ain't yeah. been losing, too. Oh. You rush out here to lose every day. We're going to have to keep an eye on Shannon throughout the show with that Diet Mountain Dew. Oh, my goodness. But let's get started with the Lake Show because LeBron made sure the Lakers entered the All-Star break on a high note last night, trailing by as many as 12 points in the fourth quarter. LeBron willed the purple and gold to a 106-101 to victory over the Jazz. The King dropped 15 of his 33 points in the final period of play. So on a scale of 1 to 10, Shannon, how impressive was LeBron last night? Well, I thought he was uh, a 10 because, Skip, I thought he had, as bad as he was on Saturday night, he was equally as great on, on Wednesday night. And he did a great job of pacing himself, Skip, because at first I thought, I was like, well, damn, either the knee bothering him or he's really disinterested in this ball game. He had two points in the first quarter. Yeah, he was kind of ghosty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, what that, is the knee really bothered him that bad? I don't know. Or is, is something else going? Is something mm. else at play here, Skip? Mm. But Anthony Davis did get off to a great start. So I said, like, okay, AD is doing his thing. Bron just going to sit back. Okay, fine. Mm-hmm. Two points. And then all of a sudden he had 11 points. So he has 13 points at the half. And after the start that he had, I was like, well, dang. Okay. Pace himself again in the third quarter. And then fourth quarter. Because he's heard so many times. Mm-hmm. Skip Bayless say, oh, mm-hmm. he's not clutch. The yeah. fourth quarter, he yeah. runs. He has yeah. his demons. Yeah. He has those he demons. He does, and he had them last night. Could I interest you in the fourth quarter? Mm-hmm. 15 points, three rebounds, two assists. Mm-hmm. Could I interest you in that? Yep. 33, 8, and 6, mm-hmm. 60% shooting. It's hard to acknowledge greatness when you see it all the time. Yep. Skip, we don't nearly, when I, w- once I can start eating steak whenever I want to, it wasn't nearly as impressive as when I was just getting ground beef. Mm. It wasn't nearly that impressive. When I couldn't go to these fancy restaurants, mm. I, I was like, man, ooh, look at that. They ain't got no paper towel. They got napkins. They got real, ooh. But now I can go on my own, Skip, whenever I want to. I'm not nearly as impressed. When you've seen what this man has done for 19 years, mm. you're like, oh, oh, well, he mm. does so what? Ooh. Mm. But no, Skip. That's 37 mm. in year 19 mm. on up on me. Mm. And he just went and gave you 15, 3, and 2. Mm. Two big pull-up threes. Mm. Skip better say, oh, he's shooting threes. He's getting better. And I said, nah, come here, Rudy. You got me a stifle tower. Mm. You remember what you told me yesterday? They had won six straight. I said they're going to go into the All-Star game winning six or seven. Mm. Oh, the, right. sti- the stifle mm. tower. Ooh, Rudy Gobert. Mm. Made him look real bad, did we, Skip? Mm. Pull tell, up on him. Tell it. me when it's my turn. It's not your turn just mm. yet, Skip. Look. AD, I, I mean, I feel bad for AD, Skip. Man, dude just can't catch a break. I, I'm surprised. Either he can't catch a break or he just can't stay healthy. Whichever way you want to be glass half full or half empty. It, I might, don't know. it, it might be a combination yeah. of both, Skip. But I'm surprised more guys with all the jumping that goes around Skip in the lane, I'm surprised more guys don't come down on their own uh, foot, I feet, would agree. ankles, and things of that nature. Yep. It looked really bad. X-rays said they come back negative. So yep. the best thing about this, Skip, there's really no best side, but I guess if there's a silver lining, the All-Star game. He did not end that, so he's going to get time away so he's going to miss less time than he would have had he, you know, the, uh, the all-star break wasn't here. That is but, Skip, true. I gave him a 10 because I thought LeBron James was great throughout mm. the course of the night, especially mm. after losing Anthony Davis. Mm. I'm going to give your man LeBron James an 8 on a scale of 1 to 10 oh impressive. 
because he wasn't great late as in the final minute of the game. Maybe you didn't watch. One minute. Maybe. Kill. OK, I, is it not closing time? <laughs> he could not close, did not close. I'll get to that in a moment. But I would first submit to you, sir. Yes. That your man, Anthony Davis, going down, and I'm sorry he went down, and it yeah. looked awful. It did great. That, that ankle is not intended to go there. No. And it went all the way over, and he wears low tops, and that always drives me a little crazy because it seems like the high top would at least prevent some, some of, of that. Some of it, yeah. But it goes completely to the floor. The yeah. bone touches the floor. Yes. Not a good look. No. Could tear ligaments, could break right. bones, bad things could happen, obviously, right. and yet – the x-ray, just the bone x-ray, said it's okay. Now he's going to get the MRI right. today, and we'll see what that No broken bone, but that didn't say anything I, I about no know. ligament. I, I, I'm not <laughs> sure about that. But the point is, this is just my theory on that game. I believe if Anthony had not been hurt, the Lakers would have lost the game <laughs> because it's the old what Dick Motta used to teach me back in the late 70s. Remember Dick Motta? Yeah, yeah okay. I do. So, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, the, 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 yeah they, he won a championship yeah. with Washington. They're, they're, they're the Wizards now, but they used to be go by another name. Yeah, he was the first coach of the fledgling Dallas Mavericks mm -hmm. when they came into existence in 1980. He used to teach me about the wounded tiger theory, especially as it applies to the NBA versus your sport. Right. But in the NBA, when only five can play at one time, if one team is really injured and loses a couple starters or loses their star, beware of the underdog, because on any given night, the underdog will rise up as the quote unquote wounded tiger and play way over their heads. Right. And I believe that happened in the fourth quarter last night that all of a sudden, led by LeBron, he was obviously the fire starter, mm -hmm. he started a fire that got finished by others. But the point was, Utah took its foot off the gas because I believe Utah is saying, are we there yet? Do we have this? Because they don't have AD. They, they've lost their heart. They've, they've lost their initiative here because they know they don't have a shot, right? right? Yep. AD had been pretty good so far. Well, up to the, he scored 17, right? Yes. 17 in like 17 minutes. Is that what he played? Did that's, you know? Do you know this, Skip? When there's yep. a big guy on the other side that he think Mike can give him the work, he gives them the work, Gobert, Joel and B, yep. and then he plays Kavon Looney, and he act like he'd never seen a basketball. Good point. Don't get it. Don't understand but he was more of the AD you have wanted to see. Yes, more absolutely. Of the, D, the AD that I would have said going into this year was still a top five player. Closer to the AD that in some years we would have said was a t well, I top, said top ten actually yeah. going into this year. But some years we'd say top, top five, five correct. right? Okay, so now let's look at what started the firestorm down the stretch at what I call the crypt. LeBron James, speaking of Rudy Gobert, dared to challenge him. And I do think LeBron got inspired because Aaron Donald had yeah. come. I don't know if he came straight from the parade, but he came to the front row, yeah, right? Right, right. So the game he, had started. He, he's walking he in, walking so everybody's in, going. starts, and he is basking in the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know how that feels because you've won three championships. <laughs> and I think Aaron, I, I think it was like a revelation yesterday for him. This is pretty good, yeah. man. I want some more of this. I'm going to the Lakers game. You got to see a different side of Aaron Donald. I, Yesterday at the parade, I think you so with the shirt off. I, I did. I, I got to see a whole side of it. Okay, so the point is, it all starts with 317 left, and LeBron dares to just go right up into the Stifle Tower. And what do they always say about a shot blocker? Gotta just challenge him. Just get up into him. Yep. And LeBron went into him and up over him and scored it and went pretty crazy. Yeah. This is LeBron going right into Stifle, and he backboards it. Uh, look, uh, he look at the AD, he look yep. at the AD on, the, on the side. Like, he's like, yeah, I got it. Yeah, look, yeah. At look at this mean mugging. Woo! Yeah, there you go. There we yeah, there go. You go. <laughs> yeah, can you translate, please? I, <laughs> can we say what he was saying? No, we cannot. Yeah, well, I, it was close to what he was saying the last time yeah. he did that. Okay, yeah. all right. The point was that that seemed to detonate everybody, yes. including the crowd and the Lakers, mm -hmm. because here they came. And one quick thought about Rudy Gobert. He's the reigning defensive player of the year again. I, I don't ever see it. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Did that look like the defensive player of the year? Because if you're that guy, you just don't allow that. Like that late in the game, wouldn't you just say no to LeBron James? Wouldn't you at least send him to the foul line so, somehow? You just say, no, you can't do that to me. He tries not to foul, Skip. He okay. tries not to foul. But but he doesn't seem like the baddest you-know-what. You no. know, he, he doesn't play that hard. He doesn't play that mean. He, he doesn't play no. that intimidating. I, I never quite get it, but he does want – I've lost track how many defensive players Three. of the year. Three. Okay, so – 
He's supposed to be really good, yeah. and he wasn't really good, especially down the stretch of the fourth quarter. He had just missed like six games with a calf pull, but he'd been back the previous game, so mm-hmm. I'm not going to give him any break on that. Okay, so now we get to your two big moments of the night because LeBron came into that game a 35% three-point shooter, which ranked 87th of 156, so he's pretty much in the bottom third of the league in three-point shooting. But with 257 left and 124 left, he comes up big. Ooh. I'm going to give you this. These are two big-time three-point bogey. shots. This for you, bogey. Yep. yep. Here's LeBron. Here's LeBron. And this is to tie the game on bogey. Ooh, that's from Pomona. Yep. He, that was that, from that Pomona. That was bomb. I give you yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's your favorite shot on Stifle. Ah, that from Bakersfield. He just stifled, ah. stifled the stifle, and he looks right to Aaron Donald and said, we got this. Yeah. Like, I'm, a, I'm an unofficial Ram today, right? That ain't unofficial. Yeah, okay. We Ram. We all in this we're, together. We're all in this together. Yes. Okay. Le- LeBron was in that parade yesterday. I'm sure he was somewhere. I, I'm not sure where. Okay. So that brings us to the final minute of the game. Right. And the reason I can't give LeBron a 10 is because he had a shot with 56 seconds left to, to make what, what could have been the dagger because they were up three at this point and it could have put them up five. And I'm just not sure Utah comes back from a five-point deficit with 56 seconds left. If we could see his eight-foot fadeaway, please, that I thought was a little bit of a four shot, but he was feeling it. He had a little bit of a hot hand, and no, that wasn't even close. And all of a sudden, here we came, and Bogdanovich hit a big three, and they yeah. suddenly crept back into the game. Right. So – In the end, Bogdanovich hit another shot, a little runner in the lane, a little six-footer. And with 13 seconds left, your Los Angeles Lakers are inbounding side out-of-bounds on their end of the floor, Mm -hmm. and they're only up two. So it's time for somebody – I know who that somebody is – somebody's got to go get the basketball on the inbounds pass and say, please foul me because I'm going to go make two free throws to dagger you. I'm going to put you away. And it's usually the responsibility of your superstar to pick for him, let him get free, let him run into the backcourt if he needs to, just get the basketball and get fouled. This is where Kevin Durant says, get out of my way, give me the basketball because I will go make those free throws. Can we see what happened on the side out of bounds, please? Because I'm looking for LeBron to go get it, and he goes nowhere. He is running from the late game free throw line. He is hiding, and it took Russ because they were trying to run a play from Malik to get it. Malik right. Monk to get the and ball to get the free throws. And guess who went to the free throw line and made the two dagger free right. throws? That guy did. Yeah. That guy is is ranked 102 of 104 free throw shooters in the league. Mm-hmm. And he steps to the line, and he shocked me, pleasantly shocked me. Russell West Brick made both free throws. If we can see the side out of bounds again, I'm still not even sure. I haven't figured out the play, how he even got the basketball, because he was not intended to get the basketball, and he had the guts to go get it, because that's – oh, it, it got, yeah, does go yeah, to Monk first, yeah. but he can't go Well, he, well Russ is out of bounds. Russ took okay. it out of bounds. Okay, he passed Russ him up, out of bounds. and that's then Rudy Gobert comes to trap, yeah. and then Russ you know, I, I've been fixated on LeBron every time I watch this, because LeBron just ducked. He, he just said, I'm out of the way because we know what had happened – Late in the game at Golden State, he had three to tie, which it was a bad call on Steph that ironically sent LeBron to the line. Mm-hmm. And, of course, he LeBricks the first free throw, and now he's got to – he made the second scramble. had to miss, the, the, the third one. Right. So I think he wanted no part of having to go stand there by himself 15 feet from the basket to make those free throws. Just one time I want to see him do that, and if he'd done that, I would have given him a 10. But skip. Skip, see, but see, you keep changing it. You said you want to see him perform in a big-time moment in the fourth quarter. He gives you 15 points, three rebounds, two assists, and now you condense the game even more. It's no longer the fourth quarter. You take it down to 50 seconds. Mm-hmm. At first, it was the fir- fourth quarter. Okay, well, now you condense it. As Magic called it, it's closing time. So let me ask you a question. Closing time is that last so, minute. It was still the game way up for grabs down the stretch. But so, Skip, under that under that situation, a quarterback that throws an incompletion on four, on third down and the field and, and the kicker kicks the field goal, you say, well, I can't give him a 10 because he needed to complete that pass on third down. Mm-hmm. You started you, – you could nitpick it even more. Give the – you said the fourth quarter. You didn't talk about the, the one shot that he hit in the fourth quarter against uh, Golden State. You said he was one – for 10. He mm-hmm. did this, this, and this. Mm-hmm. Now he's the flip side. He gives you 15-3-2 with one turnover, two big threes. Both of them gave them the lead, 
and then you still find fault because you said, you know what? It was 50 seconds, he missed a shot, and he didn't come get the inbound pass. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Because oh what God. do you call him on a daily basis on this show? You actually have the audacity. You go straight blasphemy, and you call him the GOAT? Yeah, it ain't blasphemy. The yeah, GOAT? Yeah. Are you kidding mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. A, a guy who can't make free throws, who runs from the late-game free throw line, who has the fatal flaw of being a, a low 70% free throw shooter, he's disqualified well, he from the goal. He two for two last night. Okay. And guess what? He did this on a bothersome knee. Mm. And, and by the way, he actually ran to the free throw line early in the fourth quarter because there was a technical foul. And what did he do, Skip? And he made it. And what did he do? Okay, well, I just showed you the play in which he ran from the free throw line. That is, that is high IQ at work. That is, I want no part of this. I'm going to go hide. I'm going to act like I'm setting a pick, and then I'm just going to – Get smaller and smaller so nobody thinks. Question. Did Let me, he run to the to the inbound pass to get it? No, he can did I, not. Can I ask you a question? If LeBron doesn't do what he does in the fourth quarter, free throw doesn't I, even I matter. I give you that. Okay, then. So that, but you but give if the you are then. the GOAT, as you say that he is, That's why you, got you, back in the you game. have to close. You just told me, okay. Skip, they were down by t- 12 points okay. against and Utah. Here's the final flaw to your argument of giving him a 10. Who made what was actually the three-point shot of shots of the whole night It was some undrafted kid out of the University of Oklahoma by way of Wichita State in Arkansas. A guy named Austin Reeves yeah. made the shot of shots with 17.4 who, who seconds. Well, I'll give you that, but but who who sat there and said, I got you? Who said, I got you? LeBron almost came down and walked on that, but he managed to find Austin Reeves. Right. And what have I told you from the start of the season? To me, Austin Reeves is actually a better all-around basketball player than Russell Westbrook is. Mm-hmm. He's more valuable because he plays his tail he off does. on both ends. And you know what? For an undrafted kid at his age, he actually knows how to play basketball. Yes, he does. He's always in the right place at the, the right time. He's always just disrupting on defense. Mm-hmm. He just he, he irritates people yeah. because he just plays so hard. I'm not saying he can't be had because Steph had him a couple of, He right. just got him. Right. Where he went up and under right. on him a couple of times. But the point is he will take and make big shots right. because remember the walk-off at Dallas, mm-hmm. LeBron said AR-15. Right. He'd already nicknamed him AR-15. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that came with 17 seconds left. So down the stretch of this game, LeBron misses the eight-foot fadeaway that could have been the dagger. Then Austin Reeves, who's become – a closer for this team. He makes the closing three. And then it took Russell Westbrook going to get the basketball and getting fouled to make the two free throws that you had to have to ice the game mm-hmm. at the end because you were only up two at that right. point. So to me, I, I, how can I give LeBron a 10 when the, the whole last minute did not belong to him? The whole last minute wouldn't have mattered had he not got the 15. Okay, I give you that. But the last minute does matter because it is closing but, time. But Skip. You, Skip, at some point in time, you can't keep condensing it just so you can factor LeBron out of the equation. And that's what you're doing. You said the fourth quarter. You've never, ever said, well, this guy didn't do this, 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 this. You said the fourth quarter is when the, I want to see what LeBron did. You didn't condense it the other night. You just said he had a horrible fourth quarter. You even showed every turnover that he okay, had. Okay, but I pretty much condensed it to the first free throw. No, 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 no. You did, no, you did. That was with like no. The one first thing that you know, the first thing that you said, he was one for ten in the fourth quarter, and this might have been the worst fourth quarter LeBron James has ever said. With three turnovers. Y- y- that's yes. what. You, okay, then. Okay. You didn't. You didn't go down. Okay. You didn't go down to the final minute. I will give you this. He owed his team a fourth quarter, and he gave them how many minutes did he play? He played all of them. Well, not quite. Is this my fourth? Yeah, it's the fourth quarter. So he made 1040. He played 1048. Yeah. Okay. So he owed them and he gave them 948. He gave them nine minutes and 48 seconds, which is, is pretty great. I give you that. That's but that's an eight on a scale of 10 for the GOAT. Well, He's the GOAT. So by, so, so by your argument, Tom Brady should have got a what? Consider what he no, did please, in the first quarter. Please, please no, 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 no. Don't put no, LeBron no, no. and Tom Brady I, I'm sentence. saying, hold on. One guy got four MVPs. Yeah, well, one guy's got seven Super Bowls. Oh, that's right? a team. Team. Oh. Do better. He got, one guy is an all NBA player 13 times, about to be 14. Your guy wait, got. Wait three. a second. Are you making the case that LeBron has been better than Tom Brady? Uh, what do you mean, making it? 
Are I've you been kidding been, me? I've been made that. But we is four and six in finals. I, hey, I, we're gonna get struck by lightning. No, we're not gonna get struck we, by we anything. Are. We're yes. gonna get struck by lightning because you keep on doing this, this damage. This, you know what? Let me take another yeah. swig of this because yeah. this, I got be since yeah. I got so many cases. Yeah. I can go ahead and drink this. I was hey, saving this one. You, you, you got a long way to go to catch up with me today on how much you've had of that. Hey, I, I've I, already I, had my quota. <laughs> You get That's what? why I am running over you once again. But I got two cases coming. Yeah. I got two cases. Well, Remember? but you only owe me like thirty for the year. No, 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 so no. Okay. No, I got oh, nine. Cancel <laughs> those. So we started over after the Super Bowl. No, no, no. We ain't started over after the Super Bowl because the basketball season. I'm gonna get them back. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna slowly get <laughs> filter them right back up off you. But skip. I mean, you, so, so what am I supposed to do with thirty-three, eight, and six? Nothing. Over six, you're, you're over six supposed six. to cherish it, embrace it, love it, because he is in year nineteen. I give you all that. But you can't give him a 10 if he can't close the game. You, you, and you especially can't give him a, a 10 when he did run. Clearly, he ran he, from the late nope. game free throw line. If you are the GOAT, if you are the superstar, is he the best player on the team? Well, sure he is. Yep. And you would make the case he's still a top five you, player let, in the let, league. Let, let no, I'm asking you a question. Okay. Can you defend the fact that he hid, that he ran from the late game free throw line? Because clearly, if he wanted to go ice the game, he would just go get the ball. Like, he'd just run right to Westbrook and say, hand it to me. Because that's what Kevin Durant does. That's what Kevin did in the gold medal Is that what Giannis game. does? Giannis is the best player in the NBA. Is that what Giannis does? No, he's a terrible free throw Okay, shooter. then. Okay, well, then he's not the best player. The best player is Kevin Durant. Hold on, no, no, no. Because in the Olympics, Kevin, after Dane Brick too, and said, you saw what Kevin did. He ran to the inbounds passer and said, just hand me the basketball so, so they'll foul so me, I just want, and I'll go swish these. So I just want to make sure I'm hearing you correctly. If you're not the best free throw shooter on the team, therefore you're disqualified from being the no, best if, player if, on the if, team. If you're saying somebody's the GOAT, they have to make what are called free throws. It's free, 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 like I all the ads on in tax season. Yeah. Free, 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 free. Right. It's a free throw. You get a free shot at making one point. And LeBron has never fixed his fatal flaw. And I don't understand. We're 19 years in, right? And, and he's still, a, by his standards, a pathetic free throw. So shooter. let me get this. So you want, so you want the guy to have everything? No, not everything. That's a given. That, that's an easy thing to have. You can fix that. You can work on it in the offseason. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but, and, and he never has. I don't know even why. Even if you work, Skip, even if he worked on it, he was never going to be Mark Price. He was never going to be Steph okay. Curry or Larry Bird. Okay. Can you even be Michael Jordan? Because no. Michael Jordan was 10 percentage points higher. He, LeBron's at 73-something, and, right. and uh, Michael was 84-something. Okay. So that, it's... Do you know how many points LeBron has left on the table as he chases Kareem? Clearly, clearly he didn't leave enough that he can't pass Kareem. Mm. And he go pass yeah. Kareem I know, and left all those points on the table. Michael Jordan hey, made hey, all those free hey, throws, hey, and guess what? Kareem was a better free throw shooter. Okay. At hey. seven, what, two, seven, five? And LeBron, ain't LeBron going to track everybody down. Huh. So what you, what, what you going to say? He's the worst, he's the greatest worst free throw shooter of all time? Kevin Durant's an 89% career free throw you shooter. You think Kevin Durant going to get 40,000 points? Huh. I, I don't know. Well, we'll find out. If he can play long enough. Uh, they don't know that no if. Yeah. They no if. Mm. My guy going strong. Mm. And I'm going to do you like you do me. He, Shannon, Tom Brady is 44 years old. Skip, yeah. LeBron is 37 years old. Mm-hmm. Give him a break. And then he's got a knee injury. So, so that, now, says, hold on. I got a knee. It's as bad as my ankle last year that cost me 20 games. It is? I, I couldn't tell it, last night. Re, Could you tell? Reminds me of somebody else. Oh, I had to have off-season knee surgery. It bothered me. I should have had it at the beginning of the season, but I went and I won the Super Bowl on a bum knee. I'm going to be so much knee. better. You had a torn MCL. Oh, really? Yeah. Are we sure about that? Well, oh, so you're calling Tom Brady a liar? <laughs> you just called LeBron a liar. I didn't call him a liar. Yeah, I called him an exaggerator. <laughs> no mercy. There's been speculation about both Sean McVay and Aaron Donald retiring, but you couldn't tell during the Rams Super Bowl parade as they celebrated like guys who had no intentions of leaving. Donald even told the crowd, quote, we're going to bring a super team back. Why not run it back? Shannon, what percent chance do you give them of running it back? Ten. Um, it's difficult. It's really difficult, Skip, to go back to back. The last 17 Super Bowl champs have failed to repeat. And we saw Tampa bring basically their entire team back intact mm. and didn't come close to getting back. Um, they made the playoff, Skip, but they didn't make the championship game. So for me, Skip, this is very difficult. You got uh, Robert Woods coming off an ACL injury. Odell is a free agent coming off an ACL injury. You still, uh, Andrew Whitworth says he's thinking about retiring. Um, he's 40 years of age. Um, you just have so much uncertainty, Skip. Von Miller is a free agent. 
Somebody's going to offer Von Miller a lot of money. Now, he, he's made a lot of money. He might like the situation in L.A., living in L.A. He might like it here so much, the setup, the weather. He's like, you know what? I'm good. Make me a fair price. I'll stay. I'll take less money to stay here where I think we'll, where I think we can repeat as opposed to going elsewhere. We saw that in Tampa, Skip. But it's, I mean, uh, a guard, Austin Colbert is a free agent. And they got no first rounder, no second rounder. They lose one of the third rounders, but they're going to get one back because Brad Holmes got one. They get a fourth round pick for losing John Johnson last year, Skip. So they get a third and a fourth round pick. But as Les C. Snade with on his shirt, Skip, F the picks. <laughs> F the picks, man. We try to win right now. We don't care about the picks. We know the players that we're bringing in. That's already proven. So for he, me. He said his kids gave him that T-shirt. <laughs> so I guess his kids are wearing around the neighborhood. <laughs> F the picks. Hey, right? hey. Bob, hey, what pick you think we could have got to go give us what Bob Miller gave us? Or, or, or for a, a, a quarter and a half, what yep. Odell gave us. Mm-hmm. So that's the way they're looking at it, Skip. It's very, very hard. Now, I will say this. Me, personally, I think it's easier to come back in the NFC as opposed to the AFC. I think the AFC quarterbacks, and you got Mahomes, you got Josh Allen, you got Herbert, you got Burrow. Uh, uh, Tennessee's going to be back again. With Derek, how healthy Derrick Henry, I think it's easier, Skip, probably to, to navigate your way, especially if Aaron Rodgers leaves the NFC, mm. because now you got the uncertainty situation in uh, Arizona. They're bickering, the quarterback and the team's bickering. We're going to talk about Dak Prescott. So all the major players. The what? GOAT. Don't forget the GOAT. He, he retired. He, he well might play for either Tampa or San Francisco next year, and that would gum up your work. He, he's retired. Yeah, we'll you re- see retire, about that. He retired. Why you keep trying to break? Skip, I, I just, it's okay. I think he's coming back. Okay. We'll talk about that. We're going to talk about that. So for me, Skip, I, I just think it's very, very difficult to repeat. And we saw what happened with Tampa. Even though they brought everybody back, Skip, injuries – and then you heard there was some bickering. There are some things going on. It's hard. Do you still have the same laser focus yep. to, w- to repeat yep. as you did to try to capture the first title? Mm. So it's very difficult. I was very fortunate enough to win back to back. But it's not an, it's not not easy at all. End up, Skip, as a matter of fact, the second game of the season, we played the Cowboys and John pulls his hamstring and he misses a month. Now, that's early in the season. What happened with the second to the last game? And he pulls his hamstring. Now we might be having a different conversation. So I'm going to say it's a 10% chance, and that's still a lot. That's still that's still uh, uh, some very good odds. You think that's good odds at 10%? Yeah, that's, that's great odds. Okay. Probably should be around 4 or 5%. Okay, well, I wrote down 5%, so I'm going <laughs> to stick with that. And I also remind you, these are the Hollywood Rams, and they got a lot of Hollywood in them. And it all came out at this parade, and yet – Think of what we've had, even from Sunday evening on, we've had Aaron Donald suggesting he might retire. Actually, Rodney Harrison first suggested right. it on the pregame show right. and said there's a very good chance he's going to retire, uh, unless maybe he becomes the highest paid hey, yeah. <laughs> player in the league. Yeah. Okay, so you got a, a, a salary issue going right. on there that's going to impact your cap. Right. And you got a head coach who's only 36 years of age, but he's already dropping hints about last week. I, I don't know. You know, I, I got I want to start a family. Uh, does he want to be the highest paid? Yeah, coach? thank you. Yes. Hold on. Matt Rule ain't been nowhere. He making nine million. Y'all got me on a little measly five million. Yep. Y'all better bump that up to 12. OK, so you already got two right there. <laughs> and now everybody's taking a look at. Wait a second. Matt Stafford only made $23 million. That, That's dirt cheap. He only right? got one year left on his okay. deal. One year, so you got to pay him. Yeah. So all of a sudden, you got to pay everybody because all these guys, we got some big egos to feed here. And the biggest ego of all, I think, belongs to the head coach. And I think that doesn't play well. And I'm going to throw this back at you. Okay. One thing that caught my eye soon after the game was over is that Sean McVay photobombed every single Star interview. Hey, every time I look up, you know, they're, they're doing, they're talking to Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup, and all of a sudden, you know, McVeigh's popping up between them. Hey, remember me? I'm the head coach. Oh, well, we didn't really need you, coach. Well, I'm here. I'll talk. Yeah. Okay, well, coach, what did you think? And all of a sudden, he's dominating the interview. And then all of a sudden, I'm seeing Aaron Dahl and Von Miller. I want to hear what they say. And all of a sudden, a little show on his head's popping up. He's photobombing. He's photobombing he everybody. everybody. He got in there. Right? He got in everybody. He got in everybody. Okay. He wants to be the face of this franchise. 
you, you tell me, but if you're in his locker room, at some point, does that start to irritate you a little bit? Because you play. Right. He doesn't play. But, Skip, you have to understand, Skip, he's 34. Six. <laughs> 30, oh, excuse me, 36. Yeah. Skip, it's different. You got to – he's different than Mike, you know, Mike in his, you know, Mike late – Mike Shannon, yeah, late right. point. I had Coach Reeves. Yeah. Coach Reeves was a whole different animal. So, he, he, these – a 36-year-old? Okay, I've never seen a head coach in this league act the way he acted. I've never seen a head it's coach – He's di- he definitely different, Skip. Okay, I've never seen a head coach. Remember when the GOAT played at yes. SoFi? right. He, the he ran all the, the way up the all the way down the sidelines and up the tunnel chasing yeah. a receiver who was no longer soon to right. be not a Ram, right? right. And Deshaun right. Jackson. Yes. And he chases him all the way up the <laughs> tunnel after a 75-yard touchdown pass to maybe remind everybody, guess who called that play? I called that yeah. play. Way to go, right. Deshaun. But I'm here. Remember me? I'm the head coach. Now, I'm he, the play he, call. I, I, now he 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 loves himself now. Yeah. He lo- he okay. loves listening to himself talk. Okay. He loves seeing himself because he knows they're gonna capture this gift. So as much as Odell loved playing with Matthew Stafford and for McVay and with the Rams in, in what he considers his new home, because he's got a home in Beverly Hills, got the baby on the way, all, all that makes sense to me. But does he want to get more than incentive-based $5 million deal? Because I'm afraid they won't offer him a whole lot more than that because I don't think they're going to have much more to offer. I'm not so sure anybody is going willing, coming off that injury. I agree. That, now, obviously, Skip, all bets would be off yep. had he not gotten injured in the game. Yep. Somebody's going to offer him a more. I still haven't heard exactly the extent of the right. injury, but right. whatever. But it could be torn or it could be sprained or right. whatever, but it's the same one that got repaired the first time. Correct. Okay, so he becomes a big X factor. And then the big left tackle, is he going to retire? Right. Well, if he does, you, you got a that's gaping a, a hole, hole, right? So in the end, it just feels like a, a team that was actually pretty lucky to get all the way home was, was just basking in the glory of the Super mm-hmm. Bowl, as they should. That's what Tampa Bay did yeah. one year ago that's what yesterday. You, do. you enjoy right? it. That's okay. your moment. I got the stage all okay. to myself. You, you got it. And I get all that. But I think because of all that, it's going to be much harder to, to crank it back up and get it back to the level that you just achieved. Mm-hmm. And you have to have breaks. You, you, you have to have things go right because you have to have Jaquasto Tart of the 49ers. You have to have him <laughs> drop an interception with nine minutes left in the game and you're down three. Mm-hmm. If he doesn't drop it, I don't know exactly what happens, but... I don't love the Rams' chances yeah. if he catches you the ball. Increase your, you, yeah, you, okay? you decrease your chance of winning. Okay, and, and I still say, if we could just see it one more time, the Logan Wilson play is a bad call. It's the wrong call at the goal line. <laughs> it changes everything. This is third and goal from the eight, and he just flat out broke it up, and is there some hands touching, but there's no grabbing. He did not grab. He did not impede. He did not catapult himself past with with a grab the way obviously Jalen did at the goal line the first time there's no grab of the jersey and it's such a bad call because it came out of nowhere because they weren't calling anything right. like that right and all of a sudden it could have been I thought for an, a flash of a moment it was going to be fourth and goal at the eight mm-hmm. I just don't know if the Rams can win the game right. they're down 20 to yeah. 16 with a minute and a half right. left yes can they can they convert fourth and eight maybe magic carpet ride Matt to Cooper Cup well, you, one more time. You, Skip, you know, anytime in a, cha- in, a, in a championship run, you'll look back at a play, you'll look back at a game and says, okay, this was the turning point. This was the defining moment in our season. And maybe that was. Maybe it was the tart drop. Maybe it was that call. But every team that's won a championship, regardless of the sport, has gotten a break at some you, point you in do. time. Yeah. And you, but, but did you, you, you got to take advantage of it. Okay. Though. But you want to talk about walking a fine line, yeah. a tightrope yes. line. It, it's just so close mm-hmm. uh, of how it can go this way or completely right. that way. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't like the Rams blew out everybody. No, 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 no. Well, no. It, it came down to a tie game at Tampa Bay until, I don't know what happened, a blitz gets called by Todd Bowles, and it's like nobody really blitzed. <laughs> I, I don't know. They weren't ready. They, they didn't execute it correctly. Right. And Cooper Cup's running a decoy route and blows right by Antoine Winfield. And to Matt Stafford's credit, he saw it and threw it immediately. Right. Yes. Just threw it up really for grabs because there was only one, yeah. one receiver who could grab it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had a choice because Murphy Bunning was coming off the edge. So he, he, it wasn't like he could like, okay, let me. that's a decoy. Let me see where else I can go with the ball. Yeah. But I think once he saw uh, uh, Whitfield Jr.'s feet, his feet stationary. Yeah. 
There's no way he can cover Cooper Cup, even though Cooper Cup is just running a decoy. Cooper Cup's running full speed. You're flat footed. Blew right by him. Yeah, so uh, I mean, he was open by ten or fifteen yards. I just just don't overthrow him. He put enough air up under. Cup runs up under. He just let him sort of go catch a punt. Yeah, and, and it was beautiful. Yes. And as soon as he caught it, the game is effectively over. Basically. It's forty-four yards. Right. So you the ball did what? Like the ten-yard line. So yeah, now it's a, it's a twenty-five, thirty-yard kick. It's just easy. Yeah. And, it, and it came so shockingly. Out of the blue, right. where, where I'm ready to see if the GOAT can do it one more time. Right. I'm thinking we got overtime, and I'm thinking it's just going to come down to who wins the coin flip right. in overtime. Yes. Right? Because yes. he brought them all the way back to, what was it, 27? Yeah, all yeah. It was 20, 27 to 3, and he brings it back 27 27. Fine line. Yes, Each it is. of those games. Yes. Very yes. fine line yeah. that, that you managed to stay on the right side of. Exactly. But the following year, you might – you might go through a season and you go, oh, we getting those breaks again. And then all of a sudden you run into that one game and you don't get the break and it's over. Yeah. And that's the thing about that's the thing that I, I love about football is that there is no series. Two out of three, three out of five, four out of seven skip. It's one game. If you don't play your best that particular day, you're going home. Yep. And it's over. There is no repeat. San Francisco came within a whisker skip. They, if Roger Craig doesn't fumble the football, they're going to the Super Bowl for a third time. They and I believe they, they're going to beat Buffalo. I agree. Roger pulled the, gets the ball pulled out, LT recovers, and boom. That's the closest we've come to someone, you know, having yep. a three-peat. Three. No, I, I hear <laughs> you. But in, in the end, I just saw what happened one year ago because I'm over here just pounding the table because the Buccaneers, everybody, everybody came, back. came back. You you kept betting against it. Shaq Barrett earned his yeah, money. Right. He, he's got to go get some bank, man. Right. Mm-hmm. right? Yeah, he took less. He, he took, took less, less to stay. stay. But across the board, Bro, everybody, so everybody took yep. less mm-hmm. to come back, right. including in the end, Antonio Brown. Right. And then what happened? Well, to your point, the defense never fired this year. Nope. I don't know what happened. They're beat up. They're, maybe they're just not as hungry. They started reading. Yep. Yeah, but we're going to be better. Oh, wait, yeah. we get, oh, we bring all our guys this. back. Yeah, we got this. You get an injury here, you yep. get an injury there. Skip, I mean, the secondary was kind of beat up. Started with the Cowboys game. Murphy Bunning goes out. Jamel Dean goes he out. Did. Carlton Davis goes yep. out. Uh, Whitfield misses a game here. The safety gets suspended because of the fake COVID card. JPP de- basically missed all year. Shaq Barrett hurts his knee. He did. Devin White, Levante David. So, I mean, it, you got to get really – people don't understand how lucky you have to get, Skip, to repeat, to dodge the injuries. Not You've increased it. You got 17 instead of 16. 17 games. It's such a long yes. season to say, are we there yet? Because all the Bucks cared about was what's going to happen in the playoffs. Right. And then they didn't get to the playoffs on time. Right. Right? Because, Skip, the thing is about the season, it's not like the Pro Bowl. Mm-mm. There ain't no, you know, okay, you got you got no, no, no. They're putting people on the ground. And eventually that catches up with a, a little calf here, a shoulder there. Yep. And now you got guys missing time. But, I, again, the hunger. Are you just as hungry to repeat as you were to get that title? That's the biggest thing. Man, I got me a title. I got to give him a couple of extra weeks to celebrate too now. So I'm going I'm to push my training back an extra two weeks. Yep. Got to go to the bank with everybody. You know, I got to go to the club. Got to you know, get the bottle serving. You know, I got to lay. Your boy, it. your boy in time. Hey, holla at your boy. Yep. So all that factors into it. Uh, you know, Mike kept us focused. Mike, at, at the start of the season, Skip, Mike told us one thing. He said, guys, there have been a lot of teams that's won one in a row. He said, if you want to be remembered, we got to repeat. Okay. Head down. Okay. That, that was our focus. We, we got lucky, Skip. We got really lucky. John was really only our major injury. Mm. The whole season, we didn't lose guys on defense. And when Bubby came in, they, we leaned it even more on TD, and he started running the air out of the football. He did. <laughs> so he he goes and gets 2,000 with the MVP. And then I thought you had a chance to three-peat, and your quarterback but, said, I've had enough. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the fans started, started. Back then, Skip, there was no protector to the quarterback. No. <laughs> they piled into the dirt. Okay, I just dropped my chances for the Rams from 5%. <laughs> I'm going down to 3%. Yeah, I gave him 10, but I said the more realistic yeah. is probably 4 to 5. It I is. Right. It's hard. Yep. Well, according to Fox Bet Sportsbook, they give the Rams the third best odds to win the Super Bowl next year, just in front of Skip's Cowboys. And the Cowboys That's enter the offseason <laughs> with questions of who's staying from the personnel standpoint. And Dak Prescott hopes to be someone who can help answer those questions, saying, quote, I'm pretty sure that my opinion will be valued in certain decisions. I just plan on helping this team get better in every which way I can. So, Shannon, is this what you want to hear from Dak? 
That man, that no. First of all, Skip, what has he uh, what has he done to earn a say in the personnel? Good question, Skip. If that's Aaron Rodgers, if that's Patrick Mahomes, if that's Tom Brady, I ain't got no Skip. I ain't got no problem whatsoever. Even if they go to Lamar, I think Lamar is gonna say, "Guy, y'all give me give me another receiver." Y'all, y'all do that for your boy, and I'll be good. That's all I want. Give me a receiver, and have a, I'll leave up out of here, uh, 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 Coach Harbaugh. Mm-hmm. But that, Skip, the guy's won one playoff game in six years, and he wants to say in what? Are you going to tell me, well, bring another quarterback in there so I can, I, I can have somebody looking on my shoulder so I can play like I'm supposed to play? By the way, one and three in the playoffs. In the Go playoffs. Ahead. Yep. Skip, he's a big reason why they've underachieved. We keep talking about, oh, they need, what else do they need? You told me since 2010, they've drafted the second most pro bowlers. Offensive line, they had the number one rated guard. They had a top five, top six rated offensive tackle. They did. They had the, the what, the 10th best uh, uh, linebacker defense, turn you over, mm-hmm. sack you. Mm-hmm. He's the reason why that you underachieved. He, Skip Bayless told me quarterback is the most important position, is mm-hmm. the most valuable position. He touches the ball the most, so he's supposed to be, okay. So why am I asking him? Why am I asking the guy that the reason why we underachieved was because of him? Mm. No, he don't get no say in no personnel. Mm. Even if they were, but which they're not. You know, Jerry didn't ask anybody no opinion. He, yep. he only cares about him. And he lost to Jimmy. You, he lost to the guy that you call Jimmy Gag. I do. That can't make you feel good. And now we're going to give him a say in the matter. In that game, Jimmy Gag had a 69 QBR and Dak had a 27. 27? What? At a Kareem Hunt. Uh, 27, what I'm supposed to do with that? Yep. And I'm going to ask him, what? Dak, what you think we need? Yeah. Uh, let me tell you what I think we need. I think we need you to play better, Dak. How about that? That's what we need you to do. No, Skip, absolutely not. You're not giving no guy with this little of credentials a say in personnel. Like I said, Skip, they weren't even giving Aaron Rodgers. The guy had won two, three MVPs. They, how many times do you think Coach Belichick ran something by Tom Brady? Tom Brady had three. Four, five, six Super Bowls. One, two, three MVPs. Coach Belichick ain't asking him anything. Mm-mm. <laughs> he no. You gonna give Dak Prescott that kind of clout? Man, please. <sighs> Back to your favorite website, Pro Football Focus. It ranked off last regular season's performance. Dak Prescott, the 81st best play, player in the league, 81st best player in the whole league, and yet he made by far the most money in the league at $75 million, including his bonus. Right. 81st made $75 million, which was about $50 million more than Tom Brady the GOAT made in Tampa, where he took a big hometown yes. discount so that they could max out and at least try to run it back with everybody on the roster. Correct. All you need to know is that this last regular season, that Dak Prescott was 0-6 when they didn't run for 100 yards. Is he not dependent on his run but, game? But, Skip, that, that shouldn't happen. You, get, you play a guy 75 million, he got to win you games. Not Zeke, not Tony Pollard, him. Dak Prescott is now in his career... 30 and 0, 30 and 0, when they run it more than they throw it. What does that tell you? Same thing, right? Dependent. Dependent. Dak Prescott set the franchise record this regular season 37 touchdown passes mm-hmm. to only 10 interceptions. Pr- pretty That's good. That's really good. Pretty yeah. good. He threw five touchdowns in the final regular season game at Philly against their practice squad. Right. Five. Yeah. So he went from 32 to 37 and broke the record right. with five seriously against mostly practice squad. <laughs> right? Yes. No regulars whatsoever. Right. No Jalen Hurts, obviously. Right. What am I supposed to do with this? He has been so disappointing to me because I try to hang in with him. And he just rips my heart out right. because just when I need him the most, just when I need one big time game, because you keep making the point, well, against the bad teams in your division, he lights them up. Yes. Against Philly's practice squad, he looks like a Hall of Fame. They score, what, 56? Yep. <sighs> against the good teams, when I need him the most at Kansas City, the defense showed up. Yes. 
The defense held my homeboy to 19 at Arrowhead. Well, you got to win that game then. Okay, and then you got to win the game. You got to at least score 20 or yeah, 21, yeah, right? Yeah, you killed him to 19. You got to beat my homeboy by scoring 20. Dak Prescott at Kansas City had a QBR of nine on a scale of zero to 100, and they scored nine. nine. So QBR of nine, and you scored nine points, and you had the ball 12 times. You scored three field goals in 12 tries. It's just not good enough. Nope. It's not $75 million worth right. enough. Because here's the skip. Look, and let me tell you about the contract. Okay, Dak played well. When, I get, when you get a contract, Skip, it's not only based on what you've done, but they're also projecting on what you're going to do. So if you think, well, Dak earned the contract, yes, but I gave him this money also because I pro- I'm projecting that he's going to continue to ascend. You tell me that you think Dak Prescott, Played played better, played better or worse than what you thought he would. I think everybody's gonna say worse because he hasn't beat. You've got to beat Aaron Rodgers. You got to beat Tom Brady. You've got to beat some of these teams, Skip, that you're not expected to beat. And he hasn't done that. Yeah, he, what one one? I mean, you beat uh, New England. Okay, I give you that. New England that was a rookie quarterback, but you went on the road. You won that game. But you're gonna have to beat the Brady's. You're gonna have to beat these top tier quarterbacks. Teams that you don't expect to beat, that's when you're going to start showing, okay, he's legit. That's what Joe Burrow did. Joe Burrow went on the road. He beat Mahomes. He beat Tannehill. He did. He's winning these. That's what Dak's going to have to do, Skip, in order for him to get the respect, in order for him to get the people that says, okay, Dak is the guy that you can, win, you can win big with. Not just regular season, not the NFC East. Big Super Bowls. When my team was at its apex – when I was so convinced that this team was the team, Mm -hmm. and that's what Dak said in this interview, what hurts so much about this season is I thought we had the team. Well, I thought I had the The quarterback. quarterback. Exactly, you had the team. Your team, your ex-team, the Broncos, show up at Jerry World and do a number on Dak Prescott. He had a QBR of 19 in that game, but he trailed 30 to nothing early in the fourth quarter at home. Oh, he had on Amari Cooper uh, uh, QBR, huh? Mm-hmm. He had a 19. Dang. And it only rose to a 19 because McCarthy left him in the blowout. Mop up. <laughs> and, and he mopped Got up. His, it. He was mopping up his own mess. Mm-hmm. But it was such a mess. We had spills on aisles two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, and seven, and he cleaned up the spill on aisle two in the fourth quarter. Right. Only aisle two, right? Because he got him to sixteen, right? right? Yeah, two touchdowns and two conversions of the two point. Well, your QBR is still nineteen, and it was the beginning of the end of my team as I knew and yeah. loved it because they turn around on Thanksgiving and he had a QBR of forty two against the Raiders because they moved the ball here and there against right. the Raiders. But it's still scaled zero to 100. You're below average against a team you should have annihilated. Right. And you remember overtime, they win the toss. Yes. They got the football. Yes. And what happens? I, but, I thought, but I thought overtime was turn, determined by a coin toss. That's what it usually happens to everybody except my team. <laughs> and my team gets the, 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 takes the kickoff. Remember, Tony Pollard got thrown down at like the eight. Yeah. You know, like, and all of a sudden they're in jail to start right. the overtime. And it comes down to third and whatever it was, six or seven. Right. And Dak throws low and outside and behind Noah, Noah Brown. Brown. Mm-hmm. And it's ball game because right. you, you got to punt it to them and you know what's going to happen. Right. And it happens, yes. right? The point was, down the stretch, you, you seem to get worse and worse. Even in the big arch rival game at Washington, Dak's QBR in that game was a 10. And you forget because we won it handily. Well, no, the defense Division won one, it yeah. handily because Micah early in the game knocked the snot score. out of poor t- Taylor Tyler Heineke, yep, right? Yep. And, and remember, DeMarcus had a big – Right. Uh, well, he had – was it a scoop and score? It was, yeah. he, he ran for a touchdown yeah. with the ball, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So the defense took the game over. You didn't do anything. Right. But you got to skate on that one because nobody really noticed you had a QBR of only 10. And then, he fin- and then he followed that up against uh, Arizona and stunk the joint up. Yeah, it, his QBR was better against Arizona, but, but they weren't. Yeah. And you, you got to win that game because Arizona was reeling. It was the only game they won down the stretch right. in the last six games. Because if you win that game, Skip, guess what? You're in the one seed. Yeah. So it, 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 at a glance, it looks good because they led the league in points and yards. Right. But they – they built up. Oh, you'd such been a, the two seed. You'd been the two seed. You'd be the two seed, right? Been right. Two seed. Okay, but but hey, if you win the Raider game on Thanksgiving, that you should win. Oh yeah. You know, going away, 
You, you should win it in your sleep, seriously. Yeah, Raiders or Denver game. Or, or Denver. If you if you win those games, you're the one seed, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Well, you, you became the only NFC game, uh, NFC team to lose a home game in the wild card round. Right. You were the only one. You right. had a right. you had a home game. Right. And you blew it. Right. And Dak was hit and miss in that game. And again, the, the QBR was pretty miserable, but 27. Right. But but the point is that that now he's saying, <laughs> I just plan on helping this team get better in every way which I can. Well. Play better. That's okay. the number one way you can help this team get better, okay. if you play better. Well, you know what I wanted him to do? What you and, want? and you were anti this. You know, you got to get your money. Right. He's got, I don't know how many national TV ads he's had, but but he had around a dozen at that point when he was negotiating. Right. And I just kept saying, you have to take some hometown discount because you're America's team's quarterback. Right. You, you, you get to benefit from all the offseason, all the a- extracurricular – money that flows into your lap just because you're that team's yeah. quarterback. And no, they went to the mat with Jerry, and Jerry had to sit at the press conference with Dak and say, you beat me. <laughs> well, he did. He took him to the bank and the cleaners all at once. He did. And Dak got $75 million last year. God bless him, and we all want everybody to get right. their money, but at the expense of my salary cap because, to your point, now i got a whole bunch of players who are on their way out. Yeah. And it'll start with maybe Michael Gallup. And Demarcus Lawrence, they might have to cut for Cooper. salary cap. And so, Cooper, ain't no way you can keep yeah, Cooper on twenty yeah. on t- making no, twenty million yeah. with those numbers. He's putting up skip. Cedric Wilson's a free agent. Dalton Schultz is a free agent. You know, and I know they're going to have some losses yeah. because, Ooh, because Randy Gregory. Randy Gregory. You might have the you might have to franchise him. Okay, they're cap strapped because they gave so much money to the quarterback. Sure. And and there's the, the only way he could help them now is by completely restructuring the, the deal. Well, what they'll probably do, they'll probably end up t- uh, uh, taking this base salary and turning it into a signing bonus. Yeah, well, so the bottom line to this is it, it truly, as, as a lifelong diehard Cowboy fan, it makes me sick that my team has inexplicably the second best odds, according to Fox Bet, to win the NFC. Only slightly odds behind the Rams. The Rams are at eleven to one. My team's at thirteen to one. That's in the NFC. Mm. Well, 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 how is that? I look at this. Ezekiel Elliott, according to Pro Football Focus, was the thirty-third best running back in pro football. Yeah, they so, got that many running backs in the NFL. Yeah, <laughs> Tony Pollard actually ranked fourth, but but it's on few carries, right? Right. right. So you you need to flip the script, right. maybe, and he needs to get the bulk of the carries. But my point is, you, you, I I can't even sell that as the, the, the way out of this because Dak's going to have so much help in the running game. No, he's not. No. Nope. And once he didn't, that happened. 0-6 oh, happened. Mm. Well, I can say this. As a lifelong Cowboy hater, yep. it brings me great, great pleasure. It does. That it makes you sick. I'm sick. That they, that I'm they are sick. struggling. Because and they, feel, they I, look I kn- bad. I know, what, I, I know what I'm doomed to, to have to sit through in this chair next year, yep. knock on wood, that we all make it. Yep. But if I'm here next year, if God is good, God won't be good to the Dallas yeah, no, Cowboys. No, no, no. He's He'll be that good. Be good? God, don't stop, stop praying. Mm. You're secretly praying over there. You think you're slick. I don't, I don't if God, pray for oh, that. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I don't if pray God, for that. If God is good. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. God, God got other things to worry about. He ain't no Cowboy fan. I know that for sure. Well, back in the old days, when they played <laughs> in Texas Stadium, they had a hole in the roof just so God could watch his Well, feet. you better tell Jerry to cut a hole in the roof in, in Jerry World. Oh, because we need some <laughs> divine intervention next year because you know and I know what's it's it's doomed to happen. Yes. They're going to win the East because they're going to do it by default. Yes. And and I'm not even sure of that, but it feels like they're default. They're win the East. Right? They're okay. The East. So they're going to win the East, and then what? <laughs> Some San Francisco will roll into town and just roll right over us. Yep. I'm counting and, on it. Yeah, and we'll be the only NFC team to lose a wild card round home playoff. But game. guess what? You, they'll start – Early, they'll start playing well, yep. and you'll come out here. You'll be all <laughs> happy. You come out here once, once Monday with some sunglasses. You'll have on a Dak jersey. You'll come out here with your shoes and put your feet up on the desk. You'll bang the table. How about the cowboy? And then later in the season, I'm done. I'm out. You throw Dak jersey in the trash can. You turn Zeke's photo down. That's what you do. We just going through this for six years now, Skip. I, I seriously thought I thought this was the you year. Did. I did. I know you it did. Went from my heart, I, I thought I kept telling you we're unjinxable. Yes, yeah, I know. And then that happened. I say, remember? I, 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 I thought, what about the jinx? They're unjinxable. Unjinxable. 
And then that happened. <laughs> because my quarterback played more like a fourth rounder than the fourth overall pick. Okay. No mercy. Anthony Davis badly sprained his ankle and had to be helped off the floor to the locker room. Initial x-rays were negative, but early reports indicate that the big man could be out at least two weeks with the injury. But before the game, LeBron also gave comments on needing to rest so his knee could heal, comparing it to his lingering ankle injury last year. So, Shannon, these injuries are making Laker fans raise their eyebrows. Is L.A. in trouble of missing the playoffs? No, Skip, as long as LeBron doesn't miss any time, I don't believe they'll fall out of the playoffs. I hate to say a playoff. I mean the play-in. The playoffs is that you in, you you gonna have a seven-game series skip. Is that the play-in? No, I do not believe LeBron will allow them if he doesn't miss any time. Now I'm hoping they're off until the All-Star game, which is Sunday. They, I mean he'll travel, so he'll probably travel today or tomorrow. Get to Cleveland. Um, they'll have a shoot around. You know, meet. You know, do do their interviews. But LeBron should not play, Skip. He's got to go. Cleveland is his hometown. He has to be there to show his face. He has to play five minutes. After that, shut it down. Because they don't play again until Friday. That's an opportunity, Skip. He can get some really good rest. He can get seven, eight days of rest. Mm. So that's what I'm hoping happens. But I don't believe if LeBron James does not miss any time, I don't believe he allows them to fall <clears throat> fall out of the playoff. Now, they got some, they, come, they come out of the break, they get the Clippers, they get the Pelicans, they get Dallas, they get an opportunity, they got some games, then they play, I think, the Clippers again uh, uh, at, at Staples. So they have an opportunity, Skip, to, you know, win a couple of games. They can push the Pelicans even further back. They get an opportunity to gain some ground, maybe even leapfrog the Clippers, although the Clippers are playing really well right now. But, Skip, if you look at it, AD's already missed 29 games, so they know what it's like not to play with AD. And if you think about it, I'm not saying they're a better team without him, but they have a better record without AD than when they have AD. So for me, LeBron James is the key. As long as this injury does not force him to miss any time, I don't believe they fall out of the play yet. Mm. Okay, I got to go back to this <sighs> quote from yesterday's shoot-around. LeBron James said of his ankle injury that he suffered last season that mm -hmm. cost him 20 games, he said, this knee injury is, quote, unquote, the same as my ankle was last year. Right. Same as my ankle. The only way it'll be back to full strength is rest. Right. And I don't have the luxury no. of having rest. Yes. If you had Phoenix record, you could rest a week or two weeks. But you don't. You got your record. So you got to play. Okay. So one of two things is going on here. Either he is really fighting through this mm -hmm. with high pain threshold because if something's wrong with the knee, does he have some torn cartilage right. that probably needs to get scoped and fixed? Mm -hmm. Is it sprained? Does, is it the kind of ligament sprain that just needs like a month off? Right. Right? Is that what's going on? Or... Is it possible somebody I know is planting a seed of an excuse? Oh, there you go. Come on, Skip. Just in case it goes really south, he's got the excuse, well, it was my knee. No. Last year it was his ankle. He missed 20 games and he came back and he said I was never right. Skip, there is no excuse because we saw a fully healthy Laker team that wasn't very good. But that doesn't mean that because they're bad, something can't. I mean, the man is 37. He's put a lot of miles on those knees. I agree. That's a lot of jumping. That's a lot of running and planting. And we've seen over the last couple of years, Skip, his body start to break down in ways we never saw it in the first 16 years. So, I mean, dang, you, want, you, you really think the man is Iron Man, that he's indestructible, don't you? Well, I watched carefully the whole game last night, and what did LeBron end up playing? I didn't even look at the final. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Okay, so he played 40 minutes last night, yeah. and to my eye, I never saw him even hint of a limp. I, I didn't see I, – I saw some pretty good year 19 explosion because when he was at his best last night, he was running downhill to the hoop. Yeah. He was freight training to the basket, and he can still freight train – better than anybody in basketball to me. Nobody can drive the basketball any more effectively, any more dominantly than LeBron can, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that how they kind of stayed in the game? Was yeah. him just attacking? Okay, well, you can't attack on a knee that was as bad as your ankle last year if it's really that bad. So the proof was in the eye testing of last night. 
I'm sorry, I, I don't see any hint of a knee injury. Well, I thought I thought he did a tremendous job of pacing himself. I think the thing is that's where he is right now, Skip, and you and I both agree that the days of LeBron James just taking over the game and dominating it for long stretches, 20 minutes, 30 minutes of the game, that's no longer there. He can, he can, you know, 10 minutes, you said what he did in, in, in the fourth quarter, 9 minutes and 48 seconds yep. of what he played. I think you said he played yep. 9, 9, 28, 9, mm -hmm. 30, something like that. Okay, yeah, he can he can do that for stretches. He can might have a stretch like in the first half and a stretch like that in the second half. You just hope that the game is close enough that when he has one of these outbursts, is meaningful, he can put his team in the lead. But I do believe it's, 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 and it's probably like just wear and tear, just up and down, up and down, up and down, because you said it. He's having to play more minutes than they thought he would. I mean, LeBron played 40 minutes a couple of weeks, a couple of nights ago. Played another what 38, 40 minutes uh, against uh, Golden State. Yep. Played 40 minutes last night. Skip, that's a 37 year old man. That's 19 years in the league. Year nine, I wouldn't even work. I wouldn't even, wouldn't even care about him playing 40 minutes. But well, it's year all that 19. matters to me is not his chronolo excuse me, chronological age. What matters to me is he's played the third most minutes in the history of this league. Yes. You want to talk about mileage and wear and yeah. tear. So something should, I mean, so his knee should be uh, aching a little bit, right? That is 250 pounds. Okay, but is it aching? It is, is it as much a problem as that ankle was? That cost him 20 games last year. Well, remember they said that the knee had fluid in it, had swelling in it. Well, if a knee swells, what is it telling you? It's terrible. I just know. I know way too much. Now I'm going to have sore knees tonight because we talked about this. And it's going to be sub subliminal for mm -hmm. me. But y you know and I, because you have had chronically <laughs> yes. swelling knees yes. where you have to get them drained. I still do, yes. Okay? When you have that, you got serious mm -hmm. problems yes. going on in there, yes. right? Yes. And if he has swelling, something is wrong. Right. But I don't know if he, is he draining his knee? If it's Probably. Swelling? OK, probably. But the, th the thing is, Skip, like when you're like when you're an athlete, you just drain the knee and you just deal with it. Me, I like, nah, I ain't dealing with it. Now nah, I don't have to deal with it. Hey, call up the doc. Hey, I need you to get this. They say, Come on in. They take care of it. And I'm, I feel good for a until I bang it again. But I can just imagine having to deal. That. It was just more of a nuisance. Just knowing that I'm just I'm just not quite what I want to be. Knowing yep. that I, I can I can do more. I can be better. But. This old body don't want me to do better right now. Okay, so the Lakers had already beaten Utah without AD one Beat them. Okay, and something is wrong with Utah. I should not have accepted that. No, that ain't not wrong with him. That's not something wrong with him. Something is wrong because, as Donovan Mitchell said after the game last night, there's no way we should have lost that game. Yes, it is. Well, you're up 12 with 6.30. Well, then. we got the best player and you don't. Anytime oh. we go into the game, we say we got the best player and you don't. Donovan Mitchell went quiet in the fourth quarter. Jordan Clarkson, who both of them, for long stretches of the first three quarters, they were unstoppable. Yep. You had no answer for them. You tried everybody on Spider Mitchell, yeah. and nobody we trapped him and on got Spider. We trapped him and got the ball out of his hands. I don't know why we allowed a guy, a, why Frank Vogel allows a guy to yep. get going, and then they still allow him to play one on one. Skip, you remember Karis Levert yep. in the fourth quarter? He goes and gets twenty two points. Do I'm I? like, get the ball out of his hands. Make someone else beat you. Get the ball. I don't care if Bogdanovich hits a, a, a bucket or Royce O'Neal. I don't believe they can beat you like Spider Mitchell getting downhill, getting whatever he wants, pulling up, hitting threes. Get the ball out of his hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the fourth quarter, Spider Mitchell went 0 for 3 from 3. And if mm -hmm. that happens, you're probably going to lose because LeBron made his two big ones. Mm -hmm. And Jordan Clarkson was 2 of 6 and 1 of 3 from 3. So when those two combine to go 1 of 6, you're just going to lose yeah. because they have to take it home. And we have LeBron and you don't. Okay. And you see we did right, the Rudy Gobert. We make it we neutralize Rudy. Okay, but that's Utah. So now A D is gonna be out for I don't know. You're you're right about the break. It's gonna give you a shot where give you extra weeks. He's, he's Maybe two miss, weeks. Say two weeks. Two or three games, probably. And then he's gonna come back walking on eggshells with that ankle. And LeBron seems like he's playing on eggshells with this knee. So when I add two plus two. I get four games under 500 at the end of the year. But we still going to be in the play-in because this rest come at a great time. LeBron going to ice that. You know, he ice it, going to get that thing. He probably tra travel with a hyperbaric chamber. LeBron going to get that rest there. He's going to come back okay. and get I, that work. Okay, I got it. But have you looked over your shoulder? You're sitting at the nine seed right now. At the 10 seed is a Portland team that has reloaded on the fly. Isn't, isn't, isn't 10 below nine? 
So why am I looking back at them? Because I'm trying. I'm looking ahead. I'm trying to catch eight, seven, and eight. They're only two and a half back of you, and they have caught fire. They're playing well of, around Anthony Simons, who that they went to Memphis last night right. and outgunned Jaw. Yeah, Jaw was sensational. sensational. He was. He and, was. And they. And David. Dave, Dave uh, Bain was. was. Uh, and this team, all of a sudden, there's no Dame, and obviously <laughs> CJ's gone, and they just. Clean house. Yeah, well, they, they, they got rid of CJ because Simons was playing so well. They uh, said we compare Simons with, with Dame if they decide to keep Dame and put him in the backcourt. Now, it's going to be a small backcourt. Okay, but I got to tell you, that coach, you know Chauncey Oh, yeah, yeah, Billings, Chauncey, Chauncey, yeah. He, he's going to be a star, too. Anthony Simons is turning into a star, so is Chauncey Billups. You better watch Portland. I'm not watching Portland. Yep. Oh, we want them. Mm. Oh, we want As a matter of fact, right now, we'll play one game, and whoever get it, and out of the playoffs, don't have to worry about a thing. I just remember, what was it, about 10 days ago, yeah. 12 days ago, yep. you went to Portland and you got it handed to you by this no-name team. Uh, yeah, I remember we played Portland early in the season. LeBron dropped 43 on him mm. and under 30. Well, guess who came out of his body bag that LeBron put him in, his old Nurk? He, yep. he's, he's still scared of us. Mm, he's I don't still, think he's still scared, scared of us. You. He didn't look scared the last time. No, that was because AD was on the court. AD uh, in there, we got something for him. Uh, uh, okay. I, I'm afraid you're going to have to cling to the nine slot. Guess what? Guess what? Portland don't have that we have. Mm. Goat James. Mm. We got him. Y'all don't. Phony Goat James. You got him. You saw what he did last night to Go Bear. Yeah, with his swelling knee. Did you see what he did to Go Bear? Say, think, admit that he did some bad to Go Bear. I think everybody right. does that to Go Bear. Oh, the everybody does. Well, not Go Bear is not that good. Cut out for them <laughs> That's what in I the said. Second half of the season. No mercy. Sunday, it's the most iconic day in all of motorsports, the Daytona 500. The Great American Race kicks off the 2022 NASCAR season at 2.30 Eastern, 11.30 Pacific, only on Fox and the Fox Sports app. Now, after winning his second MVP in a row last week, Aaron Rodgers has all the leverage as both the Packers and the rest of the QB needy teams in the NFL wait to hear what he wants in his future. Some reports say, quote, it's only a matter of time before he ends up in Denver. But he also spoke highly of Green Bay during his MVP acceptance speech last Thursday. So, Shannon, where does Rodgers end up? Man, I want the urban cowboy to get somewhere. Mm. I'm sick of him. He's um, an urban cowboy? Yeah, you see that outfit that he had on? I understand a corduroy jacket, but you mm. can't have a whole outfit on, Skip. Mm. Uh, we're going to talk about this a little later. But anyway, Skip, look, if I'm the Green Bay Packers, Skip, I've allowed Aaron Rodgers to hold me hostage for mm-hmm. how long? Yeah. You've been in a relationship, Skip. Hey, I want a diamond ring. I want a new car. I want the kitchen redone. I want mm. this. At some point in time, I'm going to run out of things. And so, okay, what? What's going to ultimately make you happy? Because I've given you everything you asked for, and seemingly you're still unhappy. You find something else to be upset about. That seems to be Aaron Rodgers. They've been over backwards. They've flown out to see him. They've done everything that they, he's asked them to do over the last year and a half. And there's still concessions he wants them to make. Mm. Skip, what is that getting me? Okay, he won four MVPs. He's an all-decade quarterback. But Skip, what has that gotten me? One Super Bowl with four MVPs? I would rather have four Super Bowls and no MVPs. Yep. I would have... How about, how about another Super Bowl appearance? Forget winning the game. Just get me back there. So Green Bay, the Packer fans get the vote. We got the best quarterback in the league. Okay, Ann? Mm. What they got you? Good question. So for me, Skip, at some point in time, okay, yeah, you might not win the division with Jordan Love. Okay, you win in the division with Aaron Rodgers, but you're not winning Super Bowls. You're not doing what? Okay, so what? What exactly? And I'm allowing him to dictate well, get this guy, take that guy, do this, do that. Okay, we do all that, and then what? You wanted, you wanted Randall Cobb, okay, and. You wanted to be able to do this, you want input, and. So for me, Skip, I, 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 I would, if I'm the Packers, I would move on. I think Aaron Rodgers wants to move on. Um, for me, I, the best thing for him to do is to stay in the NFC. The AFC is really tough. Really, really, really tough. I, I thought your heart and soul set on Denver. I wanted to come to Denver. Skip, right now, man, I take, man, I take anything in Denver, man. Mm. We, we shoot, we shoot bad right now. Skip. Yeah, it's been, it's been a minute. Drew is no lock. No, 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 no. And, and we gonna, we gonna take the bridge down. Mm. We gonna, you know, we gonna dismantle the bridge, yeah. and we gonna let it go too. And we gonna let Drew lock. We gonna let it go too. Bridge skip, I, under trouble, o- over <laughs> trouble yeah, water. Skip, right. 
I've seen enough Osweiler's. Mm-hmm. I've seen enough Trevor yep. Simeon's and all that. Skip, we, we, look, we got You got to get a quarterback. We, I mean, <laughs> anybody that's watching can see. If you don't have him, you're not going anywhere. Nope. You can, you can't be great enough around him yep. to overcome bad quarterback mm-hmm. play. Look at Tennessee. They sacked Joe Burrow nine times, but guess what? They couldn't overcome that bad play by Tannehill. They couldn't. So it doesn't matter. Aaron Rodgers is going to be a, a great upgrade, and who knows? Maybe a change of scenery. Maybe, you know, hey, everybody else getting a new quarterback and it works out the first year. They go to and get to the Super Bowl and win it, Skip. So, hey, let's make it three for three. Tom Brady did it two years ago. Matthew Stafford did it this, uh, last, uh, this year. Maybe Aaron Rodgers can do that also. Mm. I would like to see him in Denver. I really would. But more so, if I'm Green Bay, Skip, how much longer I'm going to let this man waterboard me? Mm. And extrapolate things out of me and, and give me what? Mm. What what am, what do I get out of it? What I, what am I getting out of this relationship, Skip? Yeah. That's what I want to. In the relationship, we both supposed to get get something mutually out of this. Yes. What 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 are the Packers getting? The division title? MVP. Now they get hold on. What they getting? That's what they're getting. They got back to back MVP. Skip, I can't hang no MVP banner. Nope. That's that, that's great. That's gonna look great on his Hall of Fame on his Hall of Fame resume or, or Hall of Fame resume. Yep. One or two guys to win four MVPs. Okay, that's going to be great. Ooh, we had... Skip, they have seven Super Bowl MVPs in 30 seasons with two Super Bowls. Yep. I got it. Once upon a time, your brother played He it. played with Brett. Title Tid- Tid- Town. <laughs> yep. It used to be called. Not anymore. Mm. Right? <laughs> Division Town. <laughs> Division Title Town now. I'm going to say this one more time. Here we go again, Packer Nation. (laughs) You're being held hostage. Yes. You have been imprisoned by this back-to-back MVP, and he's going to win again because I believe he's going nowhere. I believe he's going to be your Packer quarterback for the next three years. Really? Or or if he decides to retire. He will never leave town until he decides to leave football completely. Because so what's all? So what's all this fuss about? You think it, he wants more money? It's about recreating sympathy. It's about taking everybody's mind off what didn't happen in the fourth quarter of yet another home playoff game mm-hmm. in which you were the number one seed yes. in the NFC mm-hmm. after you went thirteen and four in the regular season and he won MVP, and you lost at home in your weather, Packer weather, yep. cold weather, mm-hmm. low wind chill weather. You lost 13 to 10 because your MVP quarterback, two time MVP, back to back, had the ball twice at the end of the game. In the first time, he went three and out. They, they, he, he was sacked on third down, went minus 11, which backed you up into jail, and you got your punt blocked yeah. for a touchdown, yeah. right? Yes. And that tied the game. And then you got the ball again. You were first and 10 at your 29, and your back-to-back MVP went three and out, finishing fourth and 11, and you had to kick the ball away, and you know what happened yeah. after that. Jimmy Gag happened, except he didn't <laughs> gag, right? Right. They go down and get the field goal that wins the game 13-10. to 10. So in your last two possessions of a home number one seed playoff game, your back-to-back MVP went one of four for a grand total of four yards. It's just not good enough, no. but it's, it's been his M.O. for a long time. He's now seven and nine since he last went on that Super Bowl run 11 years ago mm-hmm. in a galaxy far, far away. He, he's seven and nine, and those seven have a lot of luck involved in them. And you know what happened just a year ago in the NFC Championship game? He winds up. First and goal at the eight, and he meant miss, miss, miss. And his coach, young coach, said, I've seen enough. I take the field goal that makes it 31 to 26. Yeah, that was Are a you mistake. kidding me? And then Aaron is, is trying to be the permanent host of Jeopardy, but he was the guest host, <laughs> and he takes a shot at Matt LaFleur as the guest host because one of the contestants – had an answer in Final Jeopardy, but it, it felt planted to me. Almost, right? <laughs> it, did. It, it allowed Aaron to make a joke at the expense of his young head coach. Right. Well, then I watched the NFL Honors MVP acceptance speech, and he's, and he's, he's, he's cooing up to him. Right. Mm-hmm. He's saying he's making jokes about 
Maddie's eyebrows, that his wife got his eyebrows perfectly manicured, all yeah. this, you know, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. and, and he's saying, he, he's calling Gutekunds, the GM, who he was at war with a year ago, right. he's calling him Guti. Yeah. Guti? Really? And, and he's talking lovingly about Russ Ball, the, the operations guy. So, yeah. so he's... He's all lovey-dovey with him right. this year, right? But he's moody. He's, I mean, he's right. kept, you know, one minute he's, he's, he's hiding there, and the next thing, you know, everybody's against him, and then people are trying to silence him. <laughs> but look, would I like to see him in Denver? Sure. But at what, what I mean, if you go into Denver and you got to give up everything, the Packers are going to want everything that you got. Pat Sertan, one of those one of those young receivers. They will. Uh, you're, 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 they your will. first right year, the number nine pick in this year's draft. Right. I mean, <laughs> because – the Green Bay Brass, they're, they're not stupid, right. but they're also not very courageous because right. some, if somebody would stand up, starting with Mark Murphy, and just say, no, that's enough. Well, they did one time, and you see what he got him when he said, don't you be the problem, Aaron. And you see that that, that enraged him. Well, they had the guts to trade up and take Jordan Love, and yeah. apparently they're not sold just yet on Jordan right. Love. Well, it's hard to be sold on Jordan Love when, when the guy just won back-to-back -back Yeah, MVPs because – He ain't going to be that. Was, I mean, what's the likelihood of he going to be that? Now it, now, it happened because he replaced the guy that won three MVPs consecutively. That is correct. Now, the likelihood of Jordan Love winning five MVPs, Kip, yeah. if you've had two MVPs, two guys that win seven MVPs, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the under. Yeah. I'm gonna take the under that Jordan loves with for MVP. I'm taking the under. Okay. I, think I would too. So obviously, the, the one telltale was that Nathaniel Hackett, who I first met when he was seven years old, mm -hmm. son of Paul Hackett, yeah. great friend of mine. He somehow got the Denver Broncos head coaching job right. out of nowhere. He did call plays, obviously in Jacksonville, but he wasn't calling for right. Maddie here. Right. Right? right. All of a sudden. He's the head coach of your Broncos. Right. I'm, I'm not sure he's qualified, but maybe he'll do great. Yeah. His father was pretty good at being a head coach, mm -hmm. pretty good at, on the college level right. at Pitt and USC. Right. He called plays in Kansas City when Joe went to Kansas he City. Did. Joe Montana. Yep, he sure did. Yes. So but, but for a while, he was calling some plays in San Francisco under Bill Walsh. Mm -hmm. got, got Again, Walsh sort of constructed the whole right. game plan, mm -hmm. but Paul got to call some plays. But anyway, the point is that – is Nathaniel chip off the old block? Maybe. And would that be enough for Aaron to say, I got to be there? I don't think so. Yeah, but Skip, I mean, going into the AFC West, Mahomes, Oof. Herbert, Rogers, Carr. That would be the most stacked division in it NFL would. history. It would. <laughs> in no. NFL history. Yeah, because Derek Carr's pretty good. Yeah. To me. And Josh McDaniel, we'll see. Hopefully, Josh McDaniels, I mean, this will be a second job. And a lot of guys, Skip, they get better the second time around as opposed to the first time around. Yep. Hopefully, he doesn't have to cheat. Clear, clear. Hopefully, that's out of his system. Yep. And he does a better job this time around. So, we'll see. I would like to see Aaron. I would like to see Aaron in Denver. But, Skip, I'm just, I'm, I'm just tired. Of, I, just don't, I just don't really – if someone would tell me, say, well, this is – and we, I think we got an idea that them taking the quarterback – but okay, they tried to do this. Like, look, you're right. But the last couple of years, things weren't going well. We had, you know, missed the playoffs. We were this and that. And so he's he's two MVPs. Yep. Thirteen wins in all three of the seasons. First, that's the first time someone has done that, Skip. But he seems to be a guy that's that's never happy. So now what? Okay. Give you what you want. You want fifty million a year? Three years? We gonna get Skip? We about to give you three years? One hundred and fifty million dollars. Okay, he'll find somebody else to be up, upset. Well, you didn't give it to me in bitcoins. I told you I wanted fifty thousand of it in buffalo nickels. Mm. I wanted a hundred thousand of it in wheat in wheat pennies. Yep. He's gonna find something to be upset about, Skip. Yep. I have been immunized against Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm out. No mercy. After playing well in LA's loss to Golden State over the weekend, Russell Westbrook had another solid game for the Lakers last night finishing with 17 points and icing the game with two clutch free throws down the stretch. So, Shannon, are our Lakers figuring out how to win with Russ? <laughs> no, no, I ain't. No, 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 no. Mm. No, look, I don't think there's something all of a sudden that's starting to click. I think that they, but I will say this, Skip, I do believe Russ is better suited to be the second best player as opposed to the third best player. That's what I do believe because that's what, he, at, at worst case scenario, that's all he's ever been. He's never been the third player on a team. 
So now he gets to go back into a very familiar role. I like what Frank is doing. Frank is, he's playing 16, he played 16 minutes in the first half. He played a little over 17 minutes in the second half. It seems to me they're trying to limit his minutes. He's not getting the 36, the 38, the playing a minute or two minutes less than LeBron. He played what, 30, 33, 25, LeBron played 40, basically. So for me, Skip, I, I like the way they're using him. He had four turnovers in the third quarter. He had none in the fourth quarter. None. That's the key, Skip, for him. Yep. You can't be inefficient and turn the ball over. Damn. Mm. So you're going to be thir- three of 17 shooting the ball, and you're going to turn the ball over seven times? Mm. He's going to have to be efficient like he was last night. What was he, six of 13? Skip, I can live with that. Yeah. I can, li- I can live with six of 13. Mm-hmm. It's that when you start being four of 17, you start being, you know, you start being five of 21. Yeah. And then you have the seven turnovers. The five turnovers, yeah, the five turnovers look bad. They only had 10. He and LeBron had eight of those between the two of them. Mm. As long as you limit the turnovers late in the ball game, which he didn't do in the fourth quarter, you okay with that. But no, Skip, ain't no light went off and nothing magical, nothing magical happened. Russ needs to understand he has to play a different style. All this notion, I fought there. You know who I fought, Skip? I fought Frank Vogel. I fought LeBron. I fought AD. Mm. For kept telling him, be Russ. We need Russ to be Russ. No, you don't. Mm. Russ being Russ is five turnovers, being very inefficient, taking bad shot after bad shot after bad shot. Now you didn't need Russ to be Russ. You need Russ to play. If LeBron's not on the court, AD wasn't. Now AD going to be gone for a while, Skip. Run that second unit, and you be the best player on the court. Mm. But you can't be the best player with AD and LeBron. Now AD's removed, he'll be the second best player on the court. Yep. Hey, mix him up. He don't always have to play his minutes with LeBron. Take LeBron up. Let, hey, Russ, okay, now it's your time. Bron come back on the court. Take Russ up. Okay, Bron, take the show, take the show over. Mm. But, nah, Skip, ain't nothing. No, no, something clicked all of a sudden. I've seen 54 games. 53 games. He's missed a game. I've seen 53 games. I, I, 53 games plus a previous 12 years. Mm. I know what Russell Westbrook is. Okay. Allow me to say <laughs> that Russell Westbrook has been such a nightmare for your team, such a comedy of errors for the whole year, and, and because he still far and away leads this league in turnovers yeah. by plus 25. And he did have five more last night. Right. But because of all that, in perspective, at Golden State, and again last <laughs> night, I, I got to tell you, I thought he was pretty good. I thought they maximized his ability to help them win those two basketball right. games. And I thought in the fourth quarter last night, dare I say he was really good? What about minimize his inability to hurt them in the game? Okay, I think that's right. It's like you find <laughs> his little niche. Right, thank you. And, and you keep him over there in his niche. Yes. And yet, on hustle plays, he got a couple of re- offensive rebounds. Yeah. And, and you, you stop and you say, what, what did he get? Russell Westbrook. He had four offensive rebounds last night in the fourth Oh, he's the best offensive rebounding guard in the history of the game. He had one big one in the fourth quarter last night that keeps a possession going. Yes. Right? Yeah. He he will do that because it's who he is. He was born to do that. Right. He he won't fight hard on defense, though his quote after the game was, we we locked down and played our principles on defense. Well, I I think he was pretty good on defense in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. I think they were pretty good, but to your, your first point and to my earlier point in the show, <laughs> Austin Reeves actually plays better all-around basketball than Russ yeah, does. Right. I'm not saying he's as explosive as Russ. He just plays better right. than Russ, and he got rewarded last night in the fourth quarter. He played 10 minutes last night, right. Austin Reeves. Russ got seven minutes and 46 seconds. Mm-hmm. But Russ actually showed me something. He showed me some real guts because – He is the third worst free throw shooter in the entire league. Mm -hmm. He ranks 102nd out of 104 qualified free throw shooters. And yet he did not shy away from, he did have the guts to go get the basketball when I thought LeBron wanted no part of that late game free throw line because somebody was going to have to go stand there by themselves from 15 feet away and make one or two free throws. Right. One that would assure probably a tie, and two to win the game. Right. And Russ shocked me. 
He, made both he, of them. He went up there and and he looked pretty good doing yeah, it. Yeah, and it wasn't no rim around, no, you know, scout, uh, you know, but, Ed hit the back, hit it, the rim and backboard and no. go in. It was swish. He and, and his body language didn't look surprised at it. It looked like I got this. I I was shocked by that. Of all the best, there's a lot of great basketball last night. But I, when I went to bed, I thought Russ made two free skip. throws to win the game. Skip, I ain't gonna lie. I said, "Damn, Malik, why you throw the ball to Russ?" I, I'm with you. Because the play was called for Malik <laughs> it was. to get fouled and shoot the free throws. Right. Because I guess they thought he would be the most trustable right. free throw Even shooter. though he made one or two when he was at the free throw line just earlier. Because they correct. were against I think it was 6 of 11 in the fourth quarter okay. on free throws. All right. Well, Russ in the fourth quarter made three or five. So he had already missed two, two free yes. throws. Okay. Well, you you got to right. sort of factor that into the equation. Yes. That didn't bother him. And I'm not going to dwell on this because I beat it to death in the A block of this show. But I don't think LeBron wanted any part of that. And if we could see the inbounds pass one more time, the play is clearly designed for Malik yes. to get open. And LeBron tries to pick and then he just tries to shrink and disappear. You see him, he just tries to well, stay then, out then of his man go, Then call it. He said, well, give it to me right now. I'm going to give me a layoff. Now, now, now yeah. that he got open. But Russ was like, I, okay, if, if, if you're doubled, just give it to me. Yeah. It takes courage because you, yeah. you, you have to know enough to know, uh-oh, yeah. if you go get the basketball, you're the one. All of a sudden, the onus is on you to make those free throws. They should have put Wayne Ellington in the game. I well, you could him. argue that, okay. He just hadn't played much the whole game. Had, no. had he even played in the game? Yeah, he had played. He played a little, a little bit. bit. Okay. <laughs> he right. had like four minutes. He got four minutes. Okay. But in the biggest picture, they rose above what I'm about to show you because it's time for our almost daily Man, there you go. Russell yeah, Westbrook but he did something good, I thought. blooper reel. We got to see it because he did have five more turnovers, which was a game high for both teams. Game high five. If we could see them, just to keep it in perspective, that he rose above this and so did they. Russ, careful. Oh, <laughs> and then he right. hip checked down from Mitchell out of bounds. He did. And he got a foul on the play. That wasn't a bad idea. Yes. Yeah. Just, just a little bit. Great idea of poor execution. Yeah. Skip, how you gonna th- how you gonna throw a lob when a that, seven that, foot is in between you and the man you're throwing it to? That was just bad. That's yankable turnover. Whoops. He got it back though, Skip. <laughs> Whoops, he got it back and then he threw it away. <laughs> and I love our our parting shot every time because he's just kind of looking around like. Nah, I don't really care. Hey. I, I'm okay. I got this. I'm a first ballot Hall of Famer. I know it. He said maybe the people, maybe the fans won't notice that I, what, what I turned did he it over. What did say a couple of weeks ago? I'm I'm, I'm allowed, allowed, right? I was going to say I'm entitled, yeah. but, but he's allowed to turn the ball over. Not well, that, not that to much. To lead Russ. the league, are you allowed to lead the league? Not, not that much, Russ. We, okay. we, we, but Skip, you know what? I ain't gonna beat him up tonight. He made those two free throws. He did. It was so huge. all is forgiven. He didn't turn the ball over one time in the fourth quarter. He had five going into it, and he left the game with five. So we could, you know what, Russ? Hey, we gonna take. We'll take six or thirteen. I agree, and I believe that in these last two fourth quarters at Golden State and last night, I, I believe he really tried hard to do it right. Yes, I think he really was. He was focused on, I, I got to play clean basketball. It, it just feels like his conscience was actually kicking in. No, Frankie B's got his attention. You sit over here. Yeah. You keep doing what well, you've been doing. Yeah. You be right here beside me. He did. Dapping people up with, with a hot pack, heat pack, heating uh, uh, on your knees. Dapping people up when they come out the game. Yep. That's what got his attention, Skip. Getting your back tight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, whatever, That's what got his whatever happened, it's working. No mercy. Despite saying he's super content and happy with retirement, there's a possibility Tom Brady isn't done with football just yet. A report revealed TV12 may have been forced to retire and that he, quote, doesn't want to go in that direction just yet. There's also thoughts that Brady could consider joining a new team other than Tampa if he does come back. So, Shannon, do you fear he's going to play again? But no, but I do re- realize, uh, I believe Skip Bayless's wife, Skip Bayless wife, Ernestine, is writing a letter to the editor as we speak. <laughs> Talking about Tom Brady was forced to retire. By his family. I'm assuming that's what it means, I, right? I, that's what I'm assuming. Yeah, well, she will assume <laughs> anger, right? right? Because you said what you and I was having a discussion. You say, why y'all putting that on, yeah. on the wife and on well, the family? Why, why blame them? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Skip, look. 
I'm going to say no because I believe there's a lot of thought going into it. You and I both agreed that when he made the decision, this decision did not come solely after the Rams loss. As he had to have been thinking about this. He have had to have had conversations with the people that helped make this decision prior to him making the decision. Yep. Skip, yes, the information was leaked, but that didn't change it. It was leaked because guess what? Tom Brady was thinking about retiring. They leaked that information. This was not all of us, like Tom Brady was like, oh, I'm coming back. Then someone leaked it. Clearly, he had told someone that this was his thought process yep. and this was the direction that he was heading in. Mm -hmm. They beat him to the punch yep. by leaking it to Adam Schefter, Schefter and Jeff Darlington, mm -hmm. which now all of a sudden, I don't get this. It's, it's skip like if my best friend tell my significant other, oh, you know, Shannon gonna gonna ask you to marry me. Ah! I, that's me. I, I was to, I, I, you ruined my element of surprise. Mm -hmm. You ruined my moment. Yep. Tom, like, you bums ruined my moment. I'm supposed to release this on IG. I'm supposed to have a press conference if that's the choice or the direction that I want to take it in. You robbed me of that. Even with that being said, Skip, it's not like they lied. It's not, Tom Brady is making it seem like he had to retire because... This wasn't true, and I didn't want to make somebody else look bad, so I retired because of that. No, you had confiding in someone in your inner circle. Mm -hmm. They betrayed the trust that you had bestowed in them, and you did this. But here's the thing. So if he was forced to retire, is that person or persons that forced him to retire going to force him to unretire? Because all the things that he said, the reasons why he were retiring, are still in place. Okay. So I reiterate much of what you just said. This, this NFL Network report is strong. Yes. But I'm, I'm not sure exactly. I need, I need another piece of information right. because a lot of people feel like Brady was almost forced, almost forced in that direction to retire. And he doesn't want to go in that direction just yet, said Mike Giardi of NFL Network. Right. Okay. Very strong opinion or reporting, right? Without that other piece of information, are we just talking about the family, right? Or but, are we but, talking about the Bucks, or, or I don't know what we're talking Skip, about. You said that the book, your, your your reporting said that the book said they was going to be surprised mm -hmm. if he came back. That's correct. And if he was a single man, mm -hmm. which he isn't, that was the what I was told. Absolutely, so, that he'd be there five years, more. right? And, and, and it seemed like the dad seemed like he was really caught off guard and really upset by Tommy retired because he's always he was always under the set of, of, of the impression. Yep. They got to drag Tommy off the field. That's he what he would said. just walk away in, in now, a in a straight jacket. Yeah, that's he, what he said. He said that over and over. he's been saying that for a decade. OK. One other clue that I noticed yesterday and you can dismiss it as a reach of a clue. OK. If we could first see Matthew Stafford at the podium yesterday at the end of the parade, if we could see what he said in his condition as he said it, please. <laughs> I'm damn happy to be standing up here with you guys celebrating this <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's go, y'all. You guys have been unbelievable. Unbelievable all year. And you know what? We appreciate you. Let's go. I think he'd had a couple by then. Yeah. Right? It was Skip, he got a bottle. He's got a big I'm bottle. I'm pretty sure he ain't sharing that bottle. No, he's not sharing <laughs> that bottle. So somebody was watching because somebody immediately posted on social media, I believe but, it was a tweet yeah, from was. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. Uh, mix in a water mat. Trust me, because we remember it one year ago. Exactly. Tom had to be helped out of his celebration, that, right? Hold on. He's drinking beer, and he's he showing up trying to get faded. He is celebrating. <laughs> and he's got the big stick going, too. Okay, well, he earned it. He might not remember yesterday today. Uh, he might not. And I'm not sure Tom Brady remembered <laughs> throwing the Lombardi <laughs> trophy from boat to boat at their victory. I know right? he don't remember getting off the boat and getting okay. helped into his car <laughs> until he saw it. Here's my point. Brady was locked in to this year's championship celebration. You know and I know, usually when you retire, 
you you try to cut the cord completely yeah. and you try to get away and do something else that takes your mind completely away from what's still happening right. in the game you left behind. Mm-hmm. Well, well, Brady's head is still in, in football, the game. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So he's closely watching mix in a water right. mat, right? Because I think he's still thinking, I should be there. Right. I, I want to do that again. He's on the edge of his seat because it feels like that's a clue that would suggest he does want to play again. And I don't think it was a huge coincidence that yesterday NFL.com released another ranking of quarterbacks performances last year in the regular season. And guess who was number one on the list? Here we go again. Tom Brady, number one ahead of Aaron Rodgers. You thought Rodgers was like a runaway yep. MVP, yep. and he won it running away. He did. I got it. But Pro Football Focus now and NFL.com say Tom Brady had a better year than Aaron Rodgers. And it only matters because he has to be thinking, I had a better year than anybody. And their line on NFL.com was, no quarterback has ever left the game playing this well. Well, duh, nobody has right. because – He's playing at a supremely high level. It doesn't matter what age, 44. He's won seven of these. I think he thought they were going to win an eight this year. It didn't happen. He can't play safety. He can't play defense. But the point is, it's hard to let go of it when when you're thinking, why did you get tears in your eyes the day we heard the announcement? You said they didn't make him quit. Right. Because you want, as a competitor, you, you want to see the NFL do what it does to every yeah. other mortal. It I just makes you take, stop. I can't take this anymore. You can't take <laughs> it anymore. And Brady wasn't forced out. And now NFL Network is saying he, he was actually forced to retire by outside circumstances, <laughs> right? No, they, they, no, they were inside. <laughs> they well, were inside. Well, that's what I'm saying, but, but out of outside the game. Right. Yes. But, Skip, here's the thing. When we first – Christian Fourier – uh, Ninkovich, there are a lot of guys that all of a sudden said, I think, you know, this might be Tom's last year. Mm-hmm. When we had never heard that Madden. before. Nope. So, so somebody had heard, somebody had started talking yep. for this to get out. Mm-hmm. But I think you and I both in agreement. Tom Brady likes this attention. He knows he's go- he, two guys going to be the center of attention this whole offseason yep. until they make a decision, until a decision is finally made with Aaron Rodgers mm-hmm. and this Tom Brady speculation is going to go on until the season actually starts, and either he is in uniform or he isn't in uniform. Tom Brady likes his attention. The quarterback, they like attention, Skip. And you know that, I know that. I do know that. Tom, Tom, let me tell you something. You're going to always miss, you're going to always feel that you can compl- you can play, yep. and you're going to miss because you've been so geared to do this for basically your whole adult life. Yep. I mean, Tom Brady is for, about to be what he's about to be forty-five. Yeah. So his twenty-third year. So he would have done he would have done this basically the equivalent of his adult life since yep. he's been you know twenty-one. This is what he's been doing. So, Shannon Sharp, the tea leaves are strongly suggesting will play next year. The tea leaves are strongly suggesting it might be a situation like Aaron Rodgers. You you read you read TMZ's story right? By Aaron Rodgers, he is no longer getting engaged. Oh, that. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, so, so what you're saying, his wife's going to break up with him if I, he goes I, back? I, but the NFL Network, who else could have forced Tom Brady to retire? I'm not saying that's the case, but they're reporting that he was forced. Mm. I, oh, his dad, his mom, sisters. I don't know. Maybe the whole extended family was pressure. I don't. I don't, know. I don't think his dad. I don't think his dad Skip, wanted to. Skip. I'm with you. I. I. I would love to see him come back. No mercy. LeBron made sure the Lakers entered the All Star break on a high note last night, trailing by as many as 12 points in the fourth quarter. LeBron willed the purple and gold to a 106 to 101 victory over the Jazz. The King dropped 15 of his 33 points in the final period of play. First things first, co-host Chris Broussard joins us now. Chris, on the flip side, AD left the game with an ankle injury last night. So should the Lakers be encouraged or discouraged? Discouraged, no question about it. Look, I get it. It was a great win, one of the best of the season without question. And LeBron was phenomenal. I don't think that was just one of LeBron's best games this season. I think that was one of the best individual performances in the entire league. Because he just willed the Lakers the victory. He was obviously was hitting threes. He's driving to the bucket, finishing over Gobert. But 
Le- LeBron, as great as he was, to expect him to do that now without Anthony Davis is just asking too much at his age. And so as much as Lakers fans today might want to feel like, here we go, here we go again, LeBron's turned back the clock, I think they got to feel like, here we go again, AD is hurt. hurt. <laughs> and I think he's going to be out about a month. I mean, you guys saw how he went down. Yes. LeBron is taking a long time to come back from ankle sprains. How, how long is AD going to take? And I really think the last game against Golden State, even though it was a loss, And this game, their defense has improved. But now when you take AD out, because they still can't stop the ball at the point of attack. Nope. And now you take AD away, and that defense is going to go right back to the bottom of the league like it has been for most of the season. So I just think that if the Lakers can stay between – they're nine right now. If they can stay between seven and nine when AD gets back, whatever that is – then I think they have to feel good. I don't see them rising up into six and above, obviously, but they got to make sure they don't fall out of the play. And so seven to nine, then they have to feel good about themselves when AD comes back. Can I say encourage, but only short term? <laughs> because, Skip, I think they needed this game going into the, going into the All-Star break. I mean, that's the last thing that you need, considering that you had the game Saturday night was on the silver platter for you. You suppose that it wasn't that ball game because we've seen Golden State lose their last two ball games. They lose. They, I mean, in, in horrible fashion, one of them. And last night, uh, 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 Morris hit a, a shot at the end of the at the end of the game. Right. Jokic was unbelievable again. Skip. There he goes again. Oh, yoke. Not better than Embiid, but go but, ahead. But anyway, so I just I, I think <laughs> the thing is for me is that the way they were meddling around, Chris. I thought they were going to get, get blowed out by 20. They could not stay in front of Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell like, okay, I'm finna go. now I'm going to pull up with three. I don't even feel like going all the way to the basket. And then he said, no, nah, I don't want to shoot a three because I'm tired of that. I'm going to go all the way to the basket. I'm going to lay it up with my left. I'll lay it up with my right. I'll go up and I'll do whatever I want to do. And then all of a sudden, something happened. And Russ stopped turning the ball over in the fourth quarter. He hit a big, hit a, uh, uh, some two big free throws. But LeBron was sensational. LeBron... And I think Russ in this situation, Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, I think he's better suited to be the second guy as opposed to the third guy because he's been the second guy more times than he's been the third guy. And he didn't handle that well. But I think Frank Vogel's got his attention. You play bad, you're sitting over here with me. I'm not afraid to sit you down because I think Jeannie Buss and Rob Palenka in the front office emboldened enabling him, Skip, do what you got to do. If he playing bad, put his butt on the bench. You see Russ, all of a sudden now, he comes out in the third quarter, and late in the third quarter with about three minutes left in the third quarter, and he don't come back in the ball game until about seven minutes, six and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. I think they're starting to get his attention. I'm encouraged short term. But mm. if you look at the Lakers' record, it's better without AD than it is with him. I'm not saying they're a better team. They're not, clearly. But... Chris, let's not kid ourselves. You know AD had lived up to his talent this year. He had five games yeah. after he came off that 21-game stretch. Yeah, th- yeah, exactly. So this notion that, man, they going to miss, like he giving us Giannis numbers. If he was giving us Giannis numbers, I'd be like, oh, man, we doomed. If he was giving us 29, 11, and 6, I'd like, we it's over, man. We can't overcome that. But he wasn't giving us those numbers. Oh, LeBron James, look here. LeBron, as long as Goat James... Say his name, say his name, Skip. When no one's around you, Phony say Go James. James, I love Phony you. Go James. <laughs> they don't, they, 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 you know what I'm saying? Say his name. As long as Go James doesn't miss any time, they will not fall out of that nine spot. As a matter of fact, they're they going to rise up and catch the Clippers. Mm. That's what they're going to do. Well, they get them right out of the All-Star they, they, they get us. If we don't get them, they right, get us. Right. They get the Clippers coached <laughs> by a much better coach than you guys have. I, 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 I'm not that. arguing that. Okay. Clippers don't have their two stars. You, you've got Goat James. Uh, yeah, and he gave it to folks, ain't he? And Chris Broussard, my friend, <laughs> speaking of phony goat, I cannot let lay your statement that you made about what, what I, I lost track. It got the hyperbole just overwhelmed me, but it was like all time, all time great. No, he said this year. He all said it was this <laughs> okay. season. Uh, you know, great, oh, so this, I, yeah, I this season. This comments. season. Okay. This season. No, yeah, just Chris, this season. I'm sorry. That was turning back the clock. Yeah. You have forced me to do 
to you what I did to Shannon to open the show. LeBron was <laughs> all time great until the final minute, and he could not close because he's not a closer. He never has been a closer. And, and as great as he was up to that moment, then he had the shot with 56 seconds left. We don't need to see it again. But he had a little eight-foot fadeaway that was going to be the dagger because they were up three at that point, and he missed it badly. And then of, of all Lakers, Austin Reeves, AR-15, the undrafted kid out of the University of Oklahoma, is entrusted – with the dagger shot, we thought it was the three of the night. It was even bigger than LeBron's two threes because this is with 17 seconds left. LeBron did kick it back to him. LeBron almost walked on that play because yeah. he didn't have a plan. Yeah. He got up off his feet and he didn't have a plan. He kicked it back to Austin Reeves, and he just stood there and sank it like it was a free throw. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. We saw him walk it off at Dallas making a shot like that. And then we still come down to because Bogdanovich would not quit. <laughs> All of a sudden, we come down to 13 seconds left, an inbounds play. And, Chris, I'm sorry, LeBron is running from the late game free throw line. He wants no part of it. He goes and sets a kind of a weak pick and then tries to shrink and disappear. And all of a sudden, the play is designed for Malik Monk. He gets doubled, and he gives it up to Russ. And to Russ's credit, he went and got the basketball because somebody was going to have to go to the free throw line and stand there 15 feet away all alone and make one or two free throws to either assure overtime or a victory. And to Russ's credit, he, he's, uh, he ranks 102nd of 104 qualified free throw shooters. He steps up to the line like he meant it. And he makes both of them to ice the game. I could not believe it. And trust me, LeBron wanted no part of that. So I can't go all-time great. I can't go performance of the year because it lacked the final minute. Chris, Chris, before you go, let me, let me, this is what, this is what he's done. Now you remember you've been on the old show with, you, you were on the old show with Skip. So you know what he's done. At first it was, he shrank in the first, the fourth quarter. Now he's condensed it. Not the fourth quarter. He's condensed it <laughs> to 50 seconds. Time. So in other words, Chris, right, what, what right. happened is that I got the last answer on the test. I, I got an A. I've got only one question wrong. It happened to be the last question, so you give me a C. What was really? the most important minute of that basketball there game? There would have been no the minute. Last minute. There would have been no I minute. I give you that. Right. There, there would have been no minute. Exactly. Okay. There would have exactly. been no minute. You are not even – it's over. You're on the bench getting ready for your next game, getting ready to go on vacation for the All-Star yes. weekend if LeBron doesn't carry him in the fourth quarter. And look, and first of all, let me clarify. Not an all-time great performance. I'm saying one of the best performances of this season by any player. That's all I'm saying about best, LeBron's game. Right? But here, no, uh, one of them. One of them. <laughs> one of them. One of them. Went top five, something like that. But here's the thing, Skip. And Shannon, you know this. That play... Can we see it again as I thought? That play looked an awful lot like one Michael Jordan going in to getting double team and kicking it to Steve Kerr. And now we think of Steve Kerr as a legend. Like oh, one of the greatest coaches ever. All that. It looks a lot like that. You're no, double team. You kick pass. it to the guy. Yes, the pass oh, to oh, Austin yeah, Reeves. Yeah. Yeah. And he the takes the player. big shot. I'm talking about Jordan in the finals. Kicking it to Steve Kerr for the game winner looked a lot like well, that play. Wait, LeBron. Jordan, both of them double team, kicking it out to a shooter. It, it and there's a lot it, of it similarities between LeBron's Steve Kerr and the Austin lane with Reeves. No plan. Did, did he tell Austin Reeves on the bench, I'm, I'm, they're going to double me and I'm going to kick it to you? That's what Jordan well, did. Well, Skip. If he told Austin Reeves like on the it. bench, you'd be killing him for that. Right. You'd be I saying he didn't want it. Did. LeBron was shot. fearful. He knew he didn't want the shot. Right. Oh, stop. He just no. flew into you, the lane we got into you five trapped. guys. You know and like, I guess I got to throw it back to him. Well, well, yeah, he's coming in the lane. He's going to try to lay it up. But, two, but, but they double him. So now he passed. Okay, I'm well, surprised well, right. you didn't kill him for passing the ball because you're like, LeBron, why would you pass the ball to an undrafted rookie? You're six foot nine. Just catch it. Go, Just power through him and just go to the free throw line. I'm surprised you didn't say that. <laughs> did he not run from the free throw line? No. It, yes, he all did. Right. We it's could so debate glaring. about this all day, but we've got to move on. Oh, mercy. The Nets trailed by 28 points in the first quarter and 18 in the fourth, but they still managed to come back and shot the Knicks with a 111-106 win in the Garden with KD, Kyrie, and Ben Simmons all not playing. Cam Thomas 
saved the day with 21 points off the bench, including a dagger three with less than 10 seconds to go. Skip, was this a big deal or no big deal for the Very big hey, don't deal. Be I told you the Nets are still favored by Fox Bet to win the East, and the Nets are going to win the East because the air got cleared of the stench created by James Harden. Oh, now you blame me, James Harden. Well, am I? Did. Well, you want to talk about quitting on this? He quit worse on this team than he quit on the oh Rockets. And all of a sudden, I'm watching Kevin Durant and Ben Simmons on that bench last night, and they were so into the comeback because they saw the depth of firepower this team now has. And remember, it was Kevin saying, over my dead body, will we trade Cam Thomas in any of the trades that were proposed at the trade deadline? What did you see from Cam Thomas last night in the mecca of basketball, Madison Square Garden? If we could quickly see the shots that he made in the fourth quarter alone, he took this game over. He is a new weapon for this team that will probably be be missing Joe Harris down the stretch. And all of a sudden, if we get to some vax mandate being lifted, which I still have a gut feeling will happen. Here's Cam Thomas. If Kyrie gets to play home games in the playoffs, you are in trouble. Nah, I still like the Bucks. Look at Cam Thomas. Oh, he played unbelievable. Skip, it's not a unbelievable. But Skip, you do realize it's not a big deal, huh, right? He's a rookie. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. He, he played phenomenal. Got great yeah. lift on the jump he shot. He can yeah. elevate. Yeah, one on one. This was a huge shot right here. Right here. This is the bomb. Yeah. That's when it was over. Dribble, dribble, pat. Pull step yeah. back. It only matters what Kyrie and KD's on mm-hmm. the court. I, I get this is the same team that lost 11 games straight. Mm-hmm. But that's the Knicks. Mm. Do you realize in the last 11 days, the Knicks have blown three leads of at least 20 points? Yep. But it's hard to blow 28 at home against they, your arch They rival. blew 23. Mm. They blo- hey, Remember, early in the year, they blew 21 against the Lakers. And mm. then they ended up losing by 11. Wow. So, no, it doesn't mean anything. That's the Knicks. Mm-hmm. That's what I expect them to do. Mm-hmm. And I, I love that. Hey, I love old Spike Lee was on the side. He was up there like this here, right here. And at the end of the game, he had to slid down of the shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he did not leave to his credit. He stuck it out. Yeah, because he thought he was going to be able to gloat. No. He wanted to be able to gloat about, on Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. And guess what? Mm-hmm. I watched it all, too. Mm-hmm. They kept the camera on him, too. Mm-hmm. And he got, he slid further and further down the chair. I like what, it, Did they got reclining chairs in arenas now? Mm-hmm. I like, what well, damn, is Spike Lee reclining? Mm-hmm. Mm. Ah. Did you see my man LaMarcus Aldridge give you 11 and 8 in the fourth quarter yeah. alone? Yeah. He comes off the bench for this I mean, he, I mean, skip, he, is skip, he, 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 I mean, you, uh, uh, big, uh, uh, Drummond in 22 minutes gave you 19 rebounds. 19 rebounds? That, I told you they didn't have that piece to the puzzle. They skip, got it now. I, skip, I told you Andre Drummond last year. Whew. He's not the score because he's not in that position where he's going to get all the shots in Detroit. But he could always rebound the basketball. Mm-hmm. That's all they needed. They didn't have that, that right? That's what I tried to tell you. Big Penguin's going to make big noise. But Giannis, yep. whoo, and you see DeRozan? Did you, we're going to talk about him, but Giannis, that 50. Y'all didn't hit the shot in this turn. How did he know he had 50 points? Mm. And that he like. Yeah. Durant almost beat Giannis and company by himself. Why they do that at? We're almost at. We're, yeah. almost, we're the almost trophy. Yeah. We're the almost banners. The toenail on the line trophy. He got he, he and then ran Giannis, away with that. Giannis say that's all I wanted. I wanted you in overtime. Because mm. I want to show the people of the world what I'm about to do to you in OT. Mm. Did it to him. Mm. And then went and got 30, 35, 13. And Shannon, the best player on the planet, is about to come back after the, All-Star break. The best player on the planet is in Milwaukee and rides a Harley. Well, I don't mm. know if he rides a Harley, but mm. that's what he makes Harley that. But the anyway, best he's player the best on the player. planet, according to you, can't shoot a lick. You don't need to. Yeah. Because huh. he can do other things, like get downhill in a hurry. Mm, he can do that. The best player to play to play last night. Dark Horse Go. MVP candidate just yes. broke a Wilt Chamberlain record last Stop. night. Stick around, that's next. No mercy. DeMar DeRozan had 38 points on 16 for 27 from the field yesterday, breaking a nearly 60-year-old record by Wilt Chamberlain of consecutive games with 35 points while shooting better than 50%. Shannon, doing this for seven games straight had made DeMar a Dark Horse MVP candidate. How surprising is this? It's crazy. If you beat, Skip, if you you know what Will offensive numbers are. If you pass Will in any offensive category, Agreed. you should be commended. Yep. I thought maybe Shaq, because I'm like, okay, a big guy, Skip, you know, and you know how dominant Shaq was. DeMar DeRozan, a guy, Skip, he's only made four threes in this stretch. But even though he's a mid-range shooter, 
to shoot 50%. 50%. And to shoot, he's, he's giving, it's not like he's scoring no easy bucket. Oh. He's getting 45, 40, 38. This is amazing. He's in the MVP discussion now. He should have been there, but he's smack dab in the middle of it. I am shocked and I am frustrated because for three long years, <laughs> DeMar DeRozan was supposed to be the star of my San Antonio Spurs, and he averaged the quietest 21.5 points in those three years imaginable, <laughs> and we went nowhere slowly. Thank you, DeMar. But, Skip, you don't allow him to play like this. He's an ISO basketball I player. You know the Spurs system. You're going to move the basketball. Ain't nobody do- – if Tim Duncan ain't dominate the basketball, ain't nobody dominate so the I basketball. I guess he got popped, right? <laughs> you, hey, the only guy that can stop DeMar DeRozan was Greg Popovich. Mm-hmm. That's the Michael Jordan. The only guy that can, that can guard him and was Coach Smith. of Michael Jordan, happy birthday, GOAT, Michael oh, Jordan. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, the real GOAT, That's the true GOAT. That's it for goat. us. We'll be back tomorrow at 9.30. Don't go anywhere. Hello. Where it starts. Right.